Hello everyone, I'm Adrian, also known as the King of Dorks, and welcome back to the stream, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and my first hardcore Nuzlocke. I hope that you are all well. I'm just going through a couple of things right now, just double checking that everything's going good to go, and I'm also double checking that I have the chats prepared, because last time I, um, uh, was uh, not very good at keeping up with the chat for both Twitch and for YouTube. So this time, I got my eyes, I got my eagle eyes on it. I was going to try and use a software to try and get both of the chats together, but I haven't figured that out yet. Um, so I will get to that sometime soon, so that way the chats are merged together. Hey Pika, how's it going? How's it going? Thank you so much for coming by. How are you doing? Also just making sure again that the stream is in good health. Yep. I normally just go right into things whenever I go live, but because I'm multi-streaming, I'm, I'm just so curious, you know? I just like seeing how everything goes together. So I need to take a couple of moments just to always, like, you know, just take a quick look. Um, so I just need to make sure that everything's put together so that way no one is left out. Is it bad I'm considering changing my name again? No, no. You can change your name whenever you want. You can change your color whenever you want. It's completely up to you. You can do whatever the hell you want. Um, so no worries, on, no worries on that end. Um, all right. So we are back with my hardcore Nuzlocke, or at least the very beginning of the hardcore Nuzlocke, uh, because last time we didn't get too much progress done because we were, um, figuring out how to do all of the encounters. We were figuring out, um, uh, like it just we were just getting the lay of the land for me never having done a hardcore nuzlocke of this game so far and i think we finally got off to the right foot and now we are prepared to go in on the first gym so and i also did a bunch of training off stream i did some eevee training off stream i have a couple of eevee training items so since i was training uh exp anyway because i have to it's the stupid hard way because we don't have infinite rare candies in this game um i have almost all of the power things i ended up having to sell a lot of our stuff to try and get like what i thought were the most important power items so that way we could do some good eevee training um, so I got some decent EV training done, didn't do anything, like, the only one that is perfect right now is our Sprigatito Joker, uh, right now, who has max attack and max speed, and then just a little bit of HP. Um, so this thing will be pretty good once it evolves into Florigato and, uh, Miascarada, if it survives that long crossing our fingers um then after we've got uh reagan um oh yeah so joker is from uh, persona um uh, and then we have reagan who is from uh mob psycho 100 because he th and he throws salt he's like an exorcist um and we got like max attack and some hp some defense i was going to train more defense but the i was getting close to my level limit you can see that we're almost at level 16 and 15 is our level limit, so we're only allowed to go up past that level if we're mid-battle. Uh, yeah, using bottle caps is perfectly fine. It's, it's allowed. You have to have the money uh, and the resources to do it, right? So, like... With other playthroughs, I've had all the money in the world because I never had to buy anything. Um, but in this, uh, in the Nuzlocke, every penny counts. So I might not be able to have as many ball caps as I would like to. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, then we got Scrappy-Doo, um, uh, our Mastiff, who also has a little bit, basically the same EV spread of uh, Reagan, just a slight, slight bit faster. Um, uh, and I think this will be a pretty fun one to use. Um, it's also pretty high attack. I think it's the highest attack on the team. Yeah, it is the highest attack on the team. Pretty good. And we also got Runaway on it. So if we want to go to late game areas and go grab some really good items, we have a way to do so because normally you need a ghost type to be able to escape uh, any battle, but Runaway also guarantees your Runaway from battle. Is catching Pokemon from raids not allowed? I am going to allow to catch one 
Pokemon from a raid. One Pokemon, and I'm not going to be able to decide which one. I'm just going to pick one on the map, and I'm going to pick a one-star raid because after we beat this gym, and maybe after we do the next Titan, I think I'm fine with going into raids because I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to make it so that if my Pokemon faints in the raid, it's a real faint, even though technically they can get back up the next turn like in Dynamax Adventures. I don't want to make it so that the raids are just the easy way to get money and items and stuff like that. If I have to grind for XP, I'll just have to wait until I get some chances in my life. Um, but chances are available soon. Um, and I think they're available at around like level 20, level 25 or something like that in Southern Area 5, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to go double check that. I know exactly where it is. I just forget what the area is called. Maybe Southern Area 2. I don't know. Um, then we have Bambi, our Deerling, um, which is also boosted in attack, even though it doesn't have an attack boosting nature. This thing doesn't really have any bulk. So again, it's just good for having like good amount of HP, good amount of attack, good amount of speed, good enough for now. I'll finish training it later. Then we got the Underminer, um, uh, which is also really high attack, decent speed. It's got a plus speed nature. It's got Sand Veil too, so if we ever get the Sandstorm up, that would be pretty nice. Um, and uh, then last, but certainly not least, my Shiny Tarantula. I got this Shiny Tarantula while I was doing EV training. Um, and I'll actually, I'll show you the clip right now, actually, while we're here. Um, because I took a clip of it and here are a bunch of photos that I took for the thumbnail, for the YouTube thumbnail. But yeah, so I'm just wandering around. I'm just going around, just um, uh, trying to find scatter bugs um, to fight for, uh, defense IVs, I believe I was grinding for still at the time, either that or attack IVs, and I just wander around, and then after you'll see for a second that it'll pop up, like, on the very top left, or no, sorry, the top right, yep, it just popped in there for, like, a split second, I turn around, and then bam, it's right there, and I'm just sitting there, like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That is my first ever... Nope, start the software. This is my first ever shiny claws that I've ever procced. This is the first time I've ever used shiny claws. Because shiny claws in a Nuzlocke is if you find a shiny Pokemon, you're allowed to catch it and you can use it. Um, outside of the requirements of you can only catch one Pokemon per area. And honestly, even if people were pedantic about that, um, this is a Tarantula and we already had a Tarantula to begin with. So this doesn't change much about how I would be using a Tarantula anyway. Hello, um, Boss Indominus. How's it going? Thanks so much for coming by in the YouTube chat. Thanks so much for coming by. How are you doing? I'm just going over my team that I got so far, going for my Nuzlocke. Um, I, as you can see, we got our shiny uh, shiny Tarantula while I was EV training uh, the other day. And uh, I'm going to have this on the team because why the hell not, right? It's, a, it's shiny claws. Um, but yeah, how are you doing, Boss Indominus? I hope that you're doing well. How's your day? And uh, how'd you find us? out of curiosity um and hey donler and um from the twitch chat and i see you finally redeemed the first you the everything is right with the universe with you finally congratulations donler <laughs> how are you doing that's actually my shiny uh can you take the hand it back no 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 it's good it's fine <laughs> this is my first ever shiny claws and i'm going to take advantage of that doing good doing good nice that's great to hear that's great to hear um what kind of, out of curiosity, Boss and Dominus, what kind of uh, Pokemon content do you watch? Just out of curiosity. Uh, just keep the conversation flowing. Um, but yeah, so this is my shiny Tarantula. We're going to use it. I have a Tarantula already. Um, so, I mean, shiny claws isn't really that big of a deal here. Um, if people are like, oh, but you already caught a Pokemon in that route. I don't care. <laughs> shiny claws, baby. Um, and we're going to evolve it. I decided to save evolving it until, um, the, the stream started. So I've EV trained this thing as well. Um, max attack. So we can get the maximum for it. I have plans for this, uh, for the dark, uh, team star base and a lot of HP and a lot of defense. I was looking for live Pokemon content and this video was the first to load. Nice, nice. I'm glad that you decided to give us a chance. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, uh, Nuzlocke and Shiny hunting. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I, oh, you were hunting, you were looking at Nuzlocke and Shiny. Gotcha. Well, I do both of those actually. Um, I'm going to be doing Nuzlocke and other challenge runs here 
uh, on my YouTube, and I'm also going to be multi-streaming it at the same time to Twitch. And for my shiny hunting, um, I do Dynamax Adventures. I normally will just do that on the Twitch side of things because how I want to use my uh, YouTube channel is to focus more on challenge runs. Um, so for example, I already have a video on this channel for doing a pacifist run, and it was the first ever published video. I will take that with me to my grave. Thank you very much. A much bigger YouTuber. Um, uh, made a video for it as well, but I was first. Um, and that was really fun. I did a pacifist playthrough where I wasn't allowed to use damaging moves. I've also done damageless, but I couldn't make a video out of that, unfortunately, because all the footage corrupted. And I just recently finished Metronome Only, as far as I know, the only recorded run of it. So I'm going to be working on that video this summer. It's going to be really fun. Um, you're never completing it? Nah, 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 I am, I am. I'm just in the middle of school right now. I have no time. I have no time to do it. But April, um, like midway through April, that's when I'll finally be able to get started because I have plans. I have a list of videos that I'm going to be making. Like not just like uh, this run I'm going to make into a video. I have another challenge run that I'm going to be making into a video once we reach our follower goal, uh, which is if I reach 200 followers, I'm going to do a... Uh, spicy Nuzlocke, which is a fire type monologue where every single time I lose a Pokemon, I eat a habanero pepper live on stream. And it's going to suck, and I'm excited for it. Um, and I'm going to be making a bunch of YouTube shorts about the uh, the metronome, metronome run. Um, you're going to do a Nuzlocke run of shield? Nice, nice. I um, That was actually the uh, one of the first Nuzlocke's I've ever done on stream, actually. It's been a while since I've done a Sword or a Shield Nuzlocke. I really should get back to that game sometime. Because it is a fun game to, to Nuzlocke. Especially when you have, like, a lot of those big boss battles at the very end. They're, they're really cool and they're really intense. Um... The last time I did it was actually before Sword and Shield, uh, before Sword and Shield, before Scarlet and Violet came out. Um, did someone say Swish Nuzlocke? Yes, in the YouTube stream, in the YouTube stream. <laughs> Alrighty. And, oh, and Donler on the Twitch side of things, decided to squeak the rubber ducky redemption. I need to try and get the redemptions as well in the chat. I saw on another streamer's stream that they managed to have like a plugin that puts the, the channel point stuff on the screen. I need to get that. I need to get that done. Um, so yeah, I have squeaky duck, squeak the rubber ducky. Perfect. For 690 points on, uh, on, uh, on Twitch. I think you should make a metronome only playthrough in the several. No, I'm not going to do several episodes. Episodic content does not do very well on Twitch. Especially if I want to create a viewer base, you're better off going for one shot videos that really grab people's attention and um, reel them into your channel, both on the YouTube and the Twitch side. Because if you do it episodically, it's not as well recommended to the YouTube algorithm. So the reason why my pacifist video actually did really well, because I only had, uh, I only had, what was it? I think it was only like 40 or 60 subscribers at the time when I published that video and it got over 2000 views within a couple of days. So the reason why that did very well was because one, it was a one-off that people watched and watched the whole thing through. And um, it was pushed more to them because it was not episodic. Uh, plus that's more work than is necessary, honestly. Um, if anything, I could do like a highlights video on like a second channel or something like that. Also, hey Reeves, how's it going? How's it going? Hope you're doing well on the Twitch side of things. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, Donler got the, the squeak the rubber ducky, but it wasn't out of vengeance to you actually, Reeves. It wasn't out of vengeance uh, because uh, Donler actually did manage to get the first redemption. So it wasn't in spite of you. Um, yeah, so Boss and Dominus um, uh, on the YouTube side of things, good luck with your Nuzlocke. Um, uh, if you're doing it right now, uh, let us know how it's going. Um, like, have you just start? Uh, have you uh, just started it, or are you in the middle of it? Let us know. My curiosity. Um, but yeah, so look, shiny tarantula, shiny tarantula. We're gonna have it. It's gonna be great. Uh, this would just be the tarantula that's currently in the box right now, but because I got the shiny one, I mean, I I, I have to use the shiny one. I'm not going to use this one. Oh, and we also haven't, um, we haven't named this one yet. I have a good name in mind. I, well, I mean, I don't know the name, but I know the character that I want to base it off of. 
Um, you know the tape guy from My Hero? What's the what's the tape guy's name? I, I want I want your I want I I want your hero name. Why are you giving me Hanta? No. Wait, is that his name? Uh, yep. His 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 quirk is Tepu, but what's his hero name? Is that his name, Saro? Or no? What is, what is his hero name? Because I think that'd be more fun. Do we know his hero name, or do we just call it Saro? Just started and named your characters. Nice, nice. Good luck to you. What starter are you gonna pick, out of curiosity? Because I um uh, for my Nuzlocke, I picked. What did I pick again? I picked Grookey. I picked Grookey, right? No? Did I? What was my starter in my original Nuzlocke? Because I did two Nuzlocke's. I did one Nuzlocke off stream. That one I picked Cinderace. And then I picked, yeah, I picked Grookey. I picked Grookey. Grookey was really good. Plus I'm good with nicknames. Yeah, let's go. All right, Cellophane. Okay, yeah, I think Cellophane works because it's it's the same vibe that um, uh, it's the same vibe that uh, uh, Spydops has, right? Uh, so that was the first thing that came to my mind uh, when I was. Oh, you'll also see. I actually, I'll show you in a second when I because there's no. Uh, if you look on the side, there's there's a little blank spot there on the bottom. That's for the tarantula slash uh spy ops in a second um so oh wait i have to go into the wild i don't have any xp candies <sighs> i have to go into the wild all right give me one second we need to destroy like a jigglypuff or two and then we're good to go <laughs> i never picked a grookie in a normal run so it's his time to shine grookie is really good like actually really good pardon me like, it is surprisingly good, because when I used it in my Nuzlocke, I was like, you know what, I think grass is the weakest one. I want to give myself the hardest time and use the grass starter. Oh, 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 oh. Give me one sec, give me one sec. I do not want to overlevel. <laughs> nope. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I don't want to overlevel one of my Pokemon, because that seems awful. Yes, yes, I was killing Jigglypuffs off screen because they give almost like 200. Um, uh, they almost give like 200 XP, um, which is really good. Um, plus, I can just bug bite them to death and it does a lot of damage. Also, yeah, congrats on your um, uh, first encounter Curum on Dynamax Adventures Donler. Congratulations. Let's go. But yeah, Grookey really good cinderace is obviously the best one of the three because it's a fire type fire typings are always the best typing for a nuzlocke usually and inteleon is not that great not gonna lie you know um oh not cute charm you rat bastard all right and i'm gonna tackle because i know this thing has disable do 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 all right, that should do it. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. Let's go. Um, my first shiny in Scarlet was an impotent from a terror raid. You got a terror raid shiny? Wow. GG on that. That's a that's literally full odds right there. All right, here we go. We get to see our beautiful shiny spider ops for our playthrough at level fifteen too, which is the perfect level for the level limit. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. I've never been so happy about this. I remember back in the damage list days or the pacifist days, one of those days, you guys were so fixated on Spy Dops. But now, Spy Dops gets to shine because it's shiny. Um, yeah, congrats on that. That, so that sounds awesome, uh, uh, Boss and Dominus. Um, yes, Frank. Frank, exactly. Also, Reeves, I don't think that pops up on the stream, unfortunately, like your your watch streak. I don't know why that doesn't do it. I don't know what's right here, but all I have to say is like, sub, and follow, guys. That's all for this message. <laughs> um, hot take, you dislike fire types. That is a hot take. That is a, that, that, that is a spicy take, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, Silk Trap's good. Silk Trap is really good because you can just lower the opponent's speed by just using a Protect. That's really good. Um, but yeah, I just turned, uh, yes, now, wait, let me get out of here, um, now, 
Oh. <laughs> Did someone say like sub and follow? No, no one said that at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate it. For those that don't know, Wigglytuff is my favorite Pokemon. Mm, I love this baby. So you will see it in all of the notifications. <laughs> um, all right. So also, now that we have our shiny Spydops, boom! I had to, I had to take, I had to do this in Photoshop um, because no one, I couldn't find anywhere online where people made shiny versions of these portraits because these are like the in-game portraits. Like you'll see here, this is, this is the same thing at like this, this is the same thing that's what's up top but no one ever made shiny versions of them. So I had to go into Photoshop myself and color it in. And it took a while. This thing has a lot of little, like little texturing here and there. So it took me a while. It took me like a solid, like half an hour to color it all in. Um, we got more Adrian Photoshop, let's go. <laughs> um, that is actually a plan that I might potentially have for, um, for TikTok, actually, because when I launch the metronome only video, I think I might do a format where people send in a randomized name and a Pokemon, and then I Photoshop it. I think that'd be interesting because I show off all of my Photoshopped Pokemon from the playthrough, and then I'm like, well, give me yours, and then I'll try Photoshop them, and then maybe get some engagement that way. Um, your favorite Pokemon is a tie between Drapion, Turtwig, and Shellos. Oh, Shellos, the beautiful baby. Uh, Drapion is really sick, and also Turtwig is so cute as well. I, 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 I can definitely see, um, I, I can definitely see the dilemma. I can see, I can see where the tie is. Those are all great choices. Drapion's just so cool. Um, okay, so, now what are we gonna do? We could go on a little journey. Because, like I mentioned earlier, we have Runaway on Scrappy-Doo. Um, so, we have Runaway on Scrappy-Doo. So, that means we can actually go into the later areas of the game and go grab items. What do you guys think about that? Or do we just want to hop right into the gym? What do you guys think? Um, I always name my Shello Squishy. Oh, that's an adorable name. That would definitely make... Um, pardon me. There's a community member of another streamer that uh, I watch uh, who's named Squishy. Um, so they would absolutely love that. You guys want to go to the gym? You guys want to go to the gym? Shall we go to the gym? I mean, the gym's going to be easy. We need content. <laughs> I see. I see. That's all I am. I'm just a content generating machine. I see how it is, guys. Um, oh, I only have one ore on Barry. That's kind of sucky. That's kind of not great. Um, at Curiosity, what does she have again? Hey, Pokemon. Because I know she has two bugs and then a bear. Um, she has two bugs and a bear. Um, no status conditions. Oh, they changed the color coordination on the, on Bulbapedia. That's so weird. Like, special moves are now blue and physical moves are now orange. Very interesting decision, Bulbapedia. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so we don't really need to worry about status effects. We only need to worry about health. So, will I ever play PMD on stream? I do want to, at some point, <laughs> squash those bugs. Oh yeah, I certainly will. Because I do have my, uh, I do have Reagan over here. My Knackly with, uh, the Smackdown. So, that should be pretty good. Um, that's how they are in the game. Well, yeah, I, I figured that as much. But on the website, they were usually colorless. Um, so it's interesting that they actually changed the colors on the website. Very interesting. Um, yeah, so cellophane is pretty tanky. We could also lower Teddy Ursa's speed with Silk Trap. That'd be pretty good. Um, but we also don't want to swap into a bug move with Reagan. We kind of want to get as much damage as humanly possible. So I don't like colors. <laughs> Lamau. Welcome, my starter, Tommy Lee Grookey. Nice. Wait, I, I, and, yeah. Tommy Lee the Grookey. Nice. Sorry. I needed to stretch my YouTube chat a little bit because the heart button was like going right over uh, your text. So I was like, it, Tommy Lee 
the the actor <laughs> uh, uh, what what's his full name tommy lee something um but yes let's go good luck with your rookie i missed two will o wisps in a crow in a row and got crit oof oof that's rough buddy that's rough buddy you're not a nerd for reading them just for fun. Just like, I, I love reading up on video game stuff all the time. It's great. It's just a good, fun time, you know? All right, so, Tommy Lee the drummer. Oh, gotcha. I wouldn't know. So it is a reference to an actual person. I just got the wrong person. Tommy Lee Jones, that's his name. Tommy Lee Jones, that's the actor. Um, all right, so Joker and Scrappy-Doo don't really want much to do uh, or Bambi don't want much to do at all with this fight. So that is something we need to consider here. Um, and ideally, we need to destroy the Teddy Ursa as soon as possible because we don't want it to spam Fury Cutter on us. Um, Fury Swipes is honestly okay, just as long as it doesn't spam Fury Cutter because we don't want to lose anyone, right? Um, so I'm thinking Reagan is perfect for the beginning of the battle. And then, um, mm, yeah, Silk Trap to end Fury Cutter. That's also pretty good. Yeah, because we can just swap back and forth and then we never die. So that means we would need to find a way to safely swap in um, Cellophane. Honestly, we might just have to do Cellophane for the whole fight. I honestly think so. Because we have Bug Bite and we have 42 attack. So, like, we can do massive damage, and we can put an Oron Berry on ourselves to uh, keep us healthy. Um, so, I think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to have our shiny Pokemon carry the first gym, and it's going to be so easy. Alright, let's go. Let's go! It's too bad starters can only be shiny for from breeding in Scarlet and Violet? Huh? Wait, what do you mean can only be shiny from breeding? Because uh, you can get shinies other, uh, you can get shinies in other ways. Oh, the starters. Sorry, the starters. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, I had, I blew a gasket for a moment. Um, if it's because Rillaboom uses drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got the connection. I got the connection. What um uh, boss? Uh, or uh, what would you like me to call you? Would you like me to call you boss? Would you like me to call you Indominus? Or would you like me to call you your full name? Let me know. I always like to make sure that people uh, are called what they want to be called. Um, what um uh, uh I lost my train of thought. What kind of Pokemon would you um what kind of Pokemon are you hoping to get in your Nuzlocke? Out of curiosity. Like, are there any particular Pokemon that if you ever got in Sword and, uh, in Sword and Shield that you'd be like, oh, fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah, I say Oron Berry. I don't say Orin, because Orin sounds like, um, E-N to me. Um, Oron Berry sounds like, like, you could also interpret that as O-R-O-N. Um... But I just I just figured that it's just a long A sound. Or Ron Barry, you know? Um, yes, Donler? <laughs> yeah, Scented Scorch would be a really good one. <laughs> See, a lot of people go, like, Adrienne as well, even though it's an A. A lot of people say Adrienne, or people say Adrian. Um, uh, or Adrien, because it's a f kind of a French name. Um, how do you say orange? I say orange. Uh, sorry, you, you put orange, I say orange. So, like, I don't say orange, I say orange, because, like, the syllables are linked up better. But with Oren, or, or sorry, Oranberry, um, there's nothing else attached to it. And I feel that it flows better for me. You can also say Orenberry again, like pronunciations are fine, whatever. Um, uh, so your real name is uh, Daniel, but call me boss. Nice, let's go. All right, let us prepare for the di for the gym test. Yes, I'm part French, part Irish. Um, that is uh, my heritage, but it's from a couple of generations ago. So like my, um, my direct grandparents are French. 
um, and my uh, direct. Uh, so my my grandparents on my dad's side are French and from France. Um, or sorry, my great grandparents on my dad's side are from France. Why am I going this way? And my great grandparents on my mom's side are from Ireland. Um, so I, ha I I am French and Irish in a bit. But um, uh, I never really looked into Irish heritage or anything. The only thing I ever I've ever done French is I just I I I speak I spoke French in French immersion classes because like French is like one of the taught languages in Canada, you know. Because I mean it is one of the main two languages in Canada. Um, <laughs> you know what you aren't though Scottish Scotland forever. So, and, uh, boss says orangey, uh, orange, orange, um, and you're from the Netherlands, gotcha, gotcha. I actually know, um, uh, another Daniel, actually, from the Netherlands, that's not you, um, that's funny, actually. I, um, uh, worked with him, uh, on a Minecraft server, um, he was the community manager, and I was one of the admins, and his name was Daniel, though I call him Dan Dan. Ah. Scotland forever! There you go, are you happy? <laughs> oh god, I'm just distracted and now I have to get this fucking... Ugh, this fucking olive... Up there. I'm not gonna blow the mic, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love being loud, and you know I love being loud and expressive, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna purposefully... Eh, blow my mic even harder. <laughs> Eh. All right, there we go. Bwong. Bwong. Ah! Yeah. Done. Let's go. Do, do. I remember my first time doing this gym challenge. Yeah, it was weird, right? Because I did it on foot. I didn't even do it on... Um, I didn't do it on uh, Miraidon. Because I, I, I literally, like, didn't think of it. Because I didn't think of Miraidon as, like, my personal vehicle for, like, a couple of gyms. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably do this and not run. That's probably the better idea. Um, and I also didn't know that you could uh, bump into the gym trainers. That's another thing. I didn't know that those gym trainers were, were you were able to battle them. I didn't know that because I've never done it. <laughs> I managed to fly with Miraiton with the olive. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, before the DLC allowed us to. Yeah, I even forget to use that feature the majority of the time. Um, because it's not natural, you know? Are there people that do speed locks? That is a thing. Um, but I'm not sure if it's a very popular category. I'm not sure. Yeah, you basically did a nut jump, a, a nut, a nut jump, a nut jump from uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Yep, I would put that, I would put it in that way too. Alrighty, everyone, first gym, let's go. So yeah, I think, I think this should be pretty easy because we just go with Spy Dops. Um, uh, we can spam Silk Trap to lower our opponent's speed and then just bully them. Right? So, I think we're in the clear for this gym. Come on, Katie. How dare you? How dare you be on her side? Ozzy, thank you for the thank you for the plugs, Reeves. Also, let me know how the volume is. Let me know how the volume is for the music. Ba -da 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 -da. Go there and you'll have some f -f fun. Hey, hey, all right. It's time to destroy you, Katie, in the best way possible. With my bug against your three bugs. Take that. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I think I can avoid taking a lot of damage if I just protect um, for the first turn that Nimble and Tarantula are out. So I can slow them down and then get a hit in and then it's GG easy. You know, the thing is, when I watched Nuzlocke videos when this game first came out, everyone had a Fletchling. Or everyone had a, um, <laughs> did I hear a Hydrate? <laughs> Do... 
Thank you for the hydrate. All right, let's go. All right, Nimble's out first, but I have Cellophane, my shiny Spydops. Oh, I still can't believe I have this. It's great. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Ba -da 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 -da. So yeah, so the strategy is going to be to just spam Silk Traps because it'll lower the opponent's speed because they only have contact moves. Um, so we're just going to Silk Trap so that way we can guaranteed always be faster than her Pokemon. And then we just spam Terrastal uh, Bug Bite. Easy peasy. Oh, this one has Struggle Bug. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I thought that it only had uh, Bug Bite. No, that's Tarantula. My bad. Oh, well. Bug Bite. We should... I think we're still slower. I think we're still slower. But it'll be fine. We don't have special attacks. We don't need to worry about that. We're fine. Look at the beautiful shiny Spidops. I, I've never actually been happy about a shiny Spidops before. But this is fun. Yeah, you are faster, and you aren't going to do much. Yeah, you only do four damage. That's fine. <laughs> Katie kill the shiny. Deaths mean something here. <laughs> Ooh, the beautiful one shot. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. All right, got to remember, no swapping. No swapping. We stay in. Bam. <laughs> I see you're going through the stages, Reeves. <laughs> All right, so we should be faster than this, right? I think... I think I'm faster. I want to try and avoid damage, but I think I'm faster. Yeah, I'm faster. No need... No need... No need to Silk Trap. Get out of here, Tarantula. Just one-shots all around. Beautiful. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. Actually, no. I can... I can... Beautiful. Level 16s. Not that we're going to need them. Uh, headbutt. Actually, that's a good move to have. Get rid of... Uh, oh, I thought I had Tackle on here. Uh, get rid of Rock Throw. Don't need that. Now, I know for a fact that Ted Ursa is going to be faster than me. Um, so, we are definitely going to Silk Trap turn 1. And then we'll just spam it for as long as she decides to use Fury Cutter, because we do not want her to use Fury Cutter. That's scary. So we're just going to Silk Trap here. <laughs> I'm typing this with, with Neg's clues on mobile. Very nice, very nice. Good job, good job. You did, you got really close. Okay. So. Silk Trap is going to lower her Teddy Ursa's speed. That might make us faster on the next turn. We'll have to see. Do do. Yeah, so she is Fury Cuttering now. That's fine. We block it. Alright, lower speed. Now we should be able to bug bite for free. GG. We win. Ooh, okay. Well, we, we, we win next. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to still protect again next turn. Because there's no way of knowing if this is a speed tie or not. So I'm just going to play it safe. Silk, the Silk Trap. Yeah, you actually did really well, Reeves. Nice job. All right, block the second Fury Cutter. Now it no longer is boosted. And then we win. GG. And Bug Bite for an easy victory. GG. Alrighty. You know, I never actually thought I'd be using a Spidops for the first gym. But, I mean, it was just very convenient, you know? Very useful. Can't believe you're using Terra. There's nothing in the rules that says I can't do Terra. Especially since Terra is honestly one of the most fun ways of strategizing in this game like it's really fun i really like terrestrializing because i've used it in all of my playthroughs of um in all my challenge playthroughs you know <laughs> teddy ursa's innards out spite off spains nah nah do 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 so uh you got your um uh, po uh, got pokeballs time for your first encounter good luck boss let us know what your first encounter is 
to. <laughs> Why are you bringing up the Nimona possible stuff? <laughs> That's from Damageless. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I really like Terra. I don't think it's nearly as broken as, like, Mega's. Uh, it's definitely better than uh, Z-Moves. That's for sure. I'm not sure if it's better than Dynamaxing. Because Dynamax just gives you straight up buffs. And gives your opponents debuffs. You know? So I honestly think that Terras are a nice middle road kind of thing. You know? I really like it. Especially since it allows you to like really have fun with... Um, it allows you to really have fun with uh, your Pokemon. Ooh, and Pounce. Right. I forgot that we get this. It's only 50 power, though, so it's like, meh. It's not that useful. Silk Trap is way better. Uh, especially for when we go up against the uh, Dark uh, the dark uh, Star base. All right, first of all, let me get the new... Uh, gotta find it, gotta find it, gotta find it. Let me get the our first badges online, and we get our next level limit, which is only one more level. Um because we're going up against the uh, first Titan next, uh, which should also be pretty easy because now we have Florigato. Ah, oh, Rookie D, that's such a good start. That's such a good start, boss. That's a really good encounter to get. Awesome, let's go. Corviknight is so good. Um, Corviknight actually saved me in my first ever hardcore nuzlocke because um it had mine had pressure um and it drained all of leon's charizard's fire blast pp um which would have uh killed my entire team yes i will i will change the evolution give me one moment i'll get that in one second just need to find it it's a very long list there we go Got it. Thank you for reminding me. Ah, perfect. Perfectly centered, too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. And let us... All right. So, let's see how the team's doing right now. Look at that. We barely took any damage that fight. I was honestly a little scared that the Teddy Ursa would have been more of a threat. Um, but... Give me one second. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> chair, money. take my money. Sorry about that. Family just decided randomly to just blare fucking copyrighted music upstairs because they're like cooking and whatnot. And I had to go upstairs and be like, no, stop. <laughs> stop right now. Um, do you get the name? I um, uh, 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 do. Do I get the name Artoria? I I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Could you tell me what what what? Uh, I'm, I'm, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I'm not quite sure. Let me know what uh, what uh, what Artoria is again. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> chair releases shiny. Shush! 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 No! No! Chair will not do such a thing. Chair will never betray me. Um, yeah. So sorry about that. Just had to go remedy that because that was that was very audible on the mic, um, or at least from my. Uh, from the volume. It's an anime reference. I'm not sure. Does it have to do with a character that can fly? Or are you talking about like fate? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Remind me. Let me know. Alright. So we got a couple of Pokemon now that are level 16. Um, so I think Joker is going to take the front seat for this next battle. So we might as well give the Oron Berry to Joker. Because Joker is probably just going to clown all over this, uh, all over, uh, the, 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 whatchamacallit, the, um, the Stony Cliff Titan Cloth. That's the name. 
Brain is not working today because Brain, um, here is a hint, Grand Order. So is it Fate Grand Order? It, it, was I going in the right direction? I, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Is that the full name of the anime? I'm not quite sure. If not, I have no idea what anime you're referring to. <laughs> Let me know. Even then, I have not watched a lot of Fate content. I've only watched Fate Stay Night and Fate Zero, if that's the case. Um, more encounters lead mass shift. I mean, we don't have intimidate on mass shift, so that's not very well, uh, uh, well advised. All right, so I was right um, because it sounded familiar, um, but um, I I I, ha I couldn't quite pin it. Um, lead mass shift. Trust. Sure, I'll lead my runaway mass shift on the front line, and it'll just get rock smashed in the face. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Stream elements isn't on overlay. Yeah, I know. I haven't gotten around to fixing the bot yet, um, because uh, I have uh, Dork's bot because I had to re-download. Uh, since I had to re-download uh, stream elements to get the multi-streaming stuff up, it also got rid of my settings for my bot. So I need to fix that. And then it'll show up in the chat again. All right, but for now, we're going to Arvin. Uh, and yes, we're all healed up. And also, do we have any other moves other than leafage? No, we only have leafage. Okay, so we're going to have to deal with that. We should still be fine. I don't have any other super effective moves that are really good. Because here we have Bambi with double kick. Ugh, not that great. We could leech seed at turn one. That's not a bad idea. Um, let's see. After checking these four mons, I have to go. No problems, Reeves. No problems. Um, uh, and also squeak the rubber ducky. Yes, I shall squeak the rubber ducky. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing the ducky to our lives. Um, I only caught three. So what are you doing? Um, uh, Reeves, out of curiosity. Because you said you're catching four. You're you're checking. Oh, what are, what are you shiny hunting? That's what you're doing. What are you, what are you hunting? Ah, Lele Adventures. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let's head on out. Ah, oh, and look. It's the tower from which Metronome, our Metronome-only TM, is up there. But yes, bye, Reeves. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope you have a good one. But look, it's the glorious tower from which Metronome-only was born. This very tower and glitching out of the starter area to be able to come grab this thing. Ooh, rare candy. Nice. I'll take the piece of candy. Thank you. But da ba yeah, so I, as I was saying earlier, Brain is a bit on the fritz because I've had a long, uh, I've had a long day. Actually, a long week because we're getting near the end of the school year uh, at my university and uh, things are starting to pile up. So it's a lot, a lot of stress. But we're getting there, we're getting there. As soon as like Saturday or Sunday is done, Life is going to mellow out for a little bit until I have to do my take-home exams. So that's going to be very nice, you know? Hello, Papas. How's it going? How's it going? Thanks so much for coming by. First time chatter. Make sure everyone welcome in Papas. Thank you so much for coming by. How are you doing? We're doing a hardcore Nuzlocke at the moment. Oh, and also, hi, I'm Adrian. Um... And we're doing a hardcore Nuzlocke at the moment, and uh, we just, just beat the first gym using only our shiny spy dops because I managed to get a shiny claws uh, for the first time ever in my life. Um, and so uh, we just, we just whooped Katie with my spy dops, solo spy dops. It was so funny. Um, but now we're on to do the Stony Cliff Titan. So that's what we're doing. Get out, go away. All right, let's go. My Route 2 encounter is a Gamara the Choodle. Nice, nice. I'm not sure if I know Gamara, though. All right. So now, um, now welcome someone. I can do that. Yes. <laughs> Say hi to new friendo. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. So you said that you're good. Um, thank you so much for coming by uh, the stream. How'd you find us out of curiosity? 
And what are you up to at the moment? All right, so we're just going to go in with our Florigato, throw caution to the wind, and just fight this big giant crap. You know, no thoughts, head empty. Level 16, we're good to go. Our star has evolved. We got this. Easy peasy. Alrighty, Terra Leafage. Absolutely destroy this thing. And also, thank you so much, Donler, for the gift sub to pop this. Thank you so much. That's really sweet of you. You're so kind to the new to the to the new first time chatter. Um, uh, make sure that uh, you thank Donler, and also uh, you have access to all my emotes. So I hope you have fun with that. All right, boosted leafage. Ooh, anger shell is a bit of an issue, but that did a lot of damage. Jesus Christ, that did noise. I would, I wish I could quick attack here, but I really can't do that. Don't lower my defense. Good, let's go. Is this how I welcome people? Yes, certainly. That is how you welcome people. Ooh, that did a lot of damage, but we're fine now. I did end up using my Oron Berry, so that's not great. I'll probably have to go back to the first area to get another another Oron Berry. Because the same thing will happen when we fight him on the next try. Alright, GG on the first one. Easy peasy, not really much to talk about. Because unlike all my other playthroughs, I finally actually get to fight things normally. Isn't that strange? Like, I didn't get to do this normally with Damageless. I didn't get to do this normally with um, uh, Pacifist. And I didn't get to do this normally with Metronome only. It's so nice to be able to just click a button and just attack things. You know? It's fantastic. What a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on. Um, so yeah, I don't really have any items on me at the moment. I think I'll hold off on doing a Terra Leafage next time. I think I'll just do a regular Leafage. Um, so that way I don't accidentally knock it into Anger Point range. Um, and then... On the next turn, I go all out with the Terra. And also, hey Yuri, how's it going? How's it going? Thanks so much for coming by. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're doing our Nuzlocke, and we're just about to go whoop the Stony Cliff Titan's ass, uh, and it's going to be great. So hope you're doing well. Okay, so, um, and we don't really want to do Reagan right now, and we don't have Intimidate on Scrappy Doo, so we kind of just have to go in with Joker. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, did I see an item? I did see an item. I want to grab it. I want to grab it. Ooh, piece of candy. Pokeball! Oh, I was hoping for that was going to be like a uh, an Oron Barrier or something. Alright, let's go! And this time we have Arvin, the perfect punching bag. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh god, she's just smiling. <laughs> she's like... Encounters? I mean, I'm not high enough level to really go for the encounters right now. I think I'd rather wait until I do the grass gym to go do more encounters. Because then we'll be a higher level and we'll actually be able to fight trainers in some of the areas. Because I want to get the Eviolite. That's going to be very valuable. Eviolite is very good. Alrighty. Um... So I think I'm just going to Hone Claws turn one and maybe even turn two. So that way I don't hit the anger point. Because if I hit the anger point, then we're kind of screwed. Not going to lie. So I think I'm just going to use some Hone Claws for turn one. Yeah, but you didn't even target me. That's completely fine. You go ahead and do whatever the hell you want, Shelter. Alrighty, and honestly, we just Terror Leafage and we win. GG. <laughs> Man, I wish all Pokemon Nuzlocks were this easy. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get more difficult later on. Um, actually, it's Anger Shell, not Anger Point. That's actually Primeape's ability. Oh, that didn't kill. Oh, shit. 
Go go for it. Go for the shelter. That'd be very nice of you. Go for it. Go for it. Go for the go for the shelter. 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 Go for the shelter. Go for the shelter. Don't go for me. Don't go for this poor kitty cat. All right, GG. <laughs> We're good to go. Oh wow, that almost killed it. All right, GG. Oh no, the poor shelter. No! Oh no, Shelter put one on the death tally. <laughs> nope, it's not our Pokemon. We're good to go. And brah. Goodbye. Goodbye, Cloth. Good day. Easy peasy. Alright, next gym is definitely gonna be very interesting. Adrian, you allowed Shelter to die. It's fine it's kind of like what we did with the 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 damageless run where we didn't count the other team member all right level 17 on you guys bullet seed on bam ooh 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 bullet seed bullet seed bullet seed with the dice ooh we have a bullet seed pokemon ooh ooh don't mind if i do um what do we want to get rid of um, I think double kick is still good in some situations when we have, like, steel types or something like that, so I'll get rid of tackle. Because once I get enough money, I can go buy the dice. I'm down. And the Underminer wants to use Bulldoze. Bulldoze over Astonish. Thank you very much. Astonish is bad. Very bad. We want a good stab move, not just Mud Slap. All right, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Pat on the back, everyone. Pat on the back. All right, let me also change. Yep, Bambi is Sap Sipper. I forget what its other ability is, actually. So I don't quite know. Is it 18 or 19? Let me double check what uh, our good friend, the Grass Gym Leader, has. Um, Brassius. Because we have to go through this glorified loading screen... Isn't this fantastic? Uh, oh no, 17. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, it's actually really close. Never mind, not 18. Uh, 17. That's pretty good because Florigato is already at level 17 right now. Yeah, Petalil only has grass moves, which is great. Um, the only problem being that... Yeah, I can set it for free. The only problem is that I wouldn't be able to do anything to, this, to the pseudo Wudo. I mean, it wouldn't be able to trailblaze me. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but the only issue is that it has Rock Throw. The rock Throw would do a lot of damage to me. So I need to be very cautious about that because I don't have any resistances. Right? Yeah, I, have, uh, I mean, the, the only resistance I have... Is, oh, I forgot to take a photo. Oh, well. Uh, the only resistance I have is... Um, the only... Oh, sorry, I'm messing up all my screens on the side. Um, just win. Easy. Yep, sounds good. Sounds good. I'll just do that. Um, but yeah, the only resistance I have is Diglett, which is not a good choice. <laughs> because of uh, Trailblaze. Alright, here you go. So basically, yeah, we're just gonna have to brute force this. I do also have some TMs that we could teach people. I, I'll need to check. Diglett's solos. Yes. Absolutely. I trust that. <laughs> With its, like, zero defense. <laughs> no, it's just shocking how fragile Diglett and Dugtrio are. But I'm still down to do Diglett and Dugtrio. And I, I'm still happy with Diglett and my, um, and my Deerling. Because they are going to be a free win in the electric type gym. And a free win. Because if we're able to get through all of, uh, her team, we just win. We just win. Because then I just swap out whatever Pokemon I have in front of the Miss Magius for Deerling. It can't be damaged. Uh, it, 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 it is not uh, hit by Hex, and it's resisted to um, Charge Beam. But obviously, it can't hit me with Hex, so it'll only use Confuse Rate or Charge Beam. So then I swap out with Diglett, and then I just swap back and forth and PP stall it. It's, it's, an, it's a free win. 
That's how battles work, Adrian. No, it's what bullying is. <laughs> kind of like how I always bully Larry when he's the normal gym leader. I always find the perfect ways to bully him with my team. <laughs> oh, it's so nice having the boost again. Oh, it's freedom! Freedom! Oh, it's so nice. Don't bully Larry this time. We'll see what the encounters have in store. I mean, if I get a ghost-type Pokemon, I have to do it. I am contractually obligated to do it. I've done it every single playthrough. I have bullied Larry. Like, without fail and without issue. It's always worked. I, can't, I have to do it. It's in my contract. <laughs> oh, man. Let him have hope. <laughs> you don't have to. I have to, though, or I'll get serious fines. <laughs> I'll get serious fines by the, the people that have fun company. <laughs> uh, BRB, uh, going to use my uh, alternate account to watch my phone batteries, though. Welcome back. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, uh, just grabbing all these items so I can sell them for money because I do want to go to Lavincia at some point. Alrighty. And we're gonna wait until we beat the gym. Karma waits for you. <laughs> um, so, where are our encounters? So, um... I'll check the map. I think we have three encounters lined up after we beat this gym because I want to make sure I'm at the proper level because our we're able to catch Pokemon that are level 25 and below, sure, but that's not within our level limit. So there's no point in going out to get them. So like all these Pokemon out here are like level 17, 18, 19, 20. We can lose some Pokemon trying to get them. So there's no point in going over here right now to... Uh, East Province area... Wait, these are separate areas? Oh! So this is area one. Oh, so area one is this whole chunk. And area two is this chunk. Oh, we actually get two encounters in this area. Okay, I'm down. I'm down for that. Um, Because I think I can get up here. If I remember correctly, there's a way that you can finagle your way up here with backwards long jumps. Um, so if we get a Pokemon that's like up here in the forest or something, like Applin or something, we can do that. Um, so we got one encounter, two encounter, three encounters, because area five is this whole thing down here. Um, so one, two, three. Then there's area four over here. And then there's Western Province Area 1. So that means once we beat the gym and we get uh, the level limit of 20, then we are able to, because this is level 20 over here, uh, by the by. Uh, it's a jump in three levels. I'm shocked. I thought that Brassius had level 18 Pokemon. Um, so we'll get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 encounters. 5 encounters. So if we beat the gym... Um, uh, then we'll go for five Pokemon back to back to back to back to back. Um, so that sounds great. I'm excited for that. But we need to think about what our strategy is for this. Because we have Brassius, who is a grass-type gym leader. Um, so, I, sorry, I need to double check. Where's, where's the thing? Okay, so, Bambi can set up for free, definitely. Oh, you want to be, you want to act as the the spreadsheet? Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Is there any way that I can get a useless move onto this thing? Growl. That'd actually be pretty good. Yeah, let's do it. Growl. Um, and we could put Growl over Leech Seed because Leech Seed will be kind of useless to us this fight. So what we can do is we can spam Growl on Petalil. Then we absolutely destroy both Petalil and Smoliv. And then we go for the double kick on Pseudo Wudo and win. I think that's how we do it. 
This is how we do it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, but we will need to level up a couple of times. So let's go fight a trainer or two uh, down here, uh, back in Area 3. Sorry, I thought I saw pink for a second. I was like, there's no way that I just got a, a shiny Squawkabilly. Thank goodness, no. I do not like Squawkabilly. That way I can keep track of your routes for you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Um, also, sorry, I put down YouTube chat. I gotta check it. There we go. BRB, going to grab a drink. All right, see you soon. All right, just because I don't want... Why did I walk? I mean, drive? Why did I do this? I should it's just... It's it's, it's it's too far away. It's too far away, Adrian. Just, just fly over there. Just fly. You know what to name it if it's a Squawkabilly? All right, all right. I was thinking, like, Jotaro. If I ever got a Squawkabilly. Because it's got the perfect hair. Like... You cannot deny. It has the perfect hair for Jotaro. From uh, JoJo's. I've still yet to fully watch that show to completion. I need to get back to that. No Josuke? So someone else. was that? Is that season 4's uh, uh, version? Is that season 4 of JoJo? Also, I'm just checking my XP. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, so yeah, Bambi should be able to go out in the front. So, well, I'm going in blind. I don't care. We'll probably annihilate this. Josuke is part four. Bam! I'm right on the money. <laughs> the Pompadour. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. I was just trying to be like, all right, am I going to get this right? But yeah, either way, like, it's, it's perfect. Um... We'll survive one. Oh yeah, it's got quick attack. Oh yeah, we survived that easy. Back from your drink. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back. What'd you get to drink? Actually, I want to open up a new drink myself. Uh, I have a, 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 I have a Diet Pepsi with no caffeine. Not sponsored, obviously, because why would you? Why would? Why would Pepsi ever sponsor a small streamer? Um, but I re, I, I love, I, I love pop. It's my only way that I ever used to get caffeine. Because I don't like coffee, and I loathe, loathe energy drinks. Awful. Awful for your, awful for you. Um, but I decided to get caffeine-free uh, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, uh, because I like the flavor of Diet Pepsi more than regular Pepsi. And also, I wanted to wean myself off of caffeine so I could get better sleep, and it's helped a lot. So if you're ever able to get the caffeine version of a soda, and you drink a lot of soda like I do... Get the caffeine-free version. Also, you know what Pepsi is? <laughs> nice. Very nice. No, I have uh, an energy drink story, actually. I have quite the tale while we level up and whatnot. So, at my university, we have a Quidditch team. And for people that don't know what Quidditch is, it's the uh, the, the the sport from Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Pokemon's just on the mind, and my brain's fried. Um, it is the sport from Harry Potter. Um, so, um, uh, where you, like, you ride around on brooms, you throw balls at one another, and, uh, you try and score, uh, sc uh, goals in the hoop. Um, good luck on your hop two fight. Good luck. Um, so I was on the Quidditch team for a couple of years. I was a beater. Um, so, like, the person that, like, uh, throws balls at people to knock them out. Uh, of the game and they have to run back to their hoops to get back into the game. It's obviously different from the actual Harry Potter version because in that game you just whip bats at balls to hit other people and you can actually injure them and knock them out of the game. Um, but I was a beater for three years and one year uh, we're complete, we were a completely student-run team. Uh, so we didn't have an actual like coach or funding from the university. So we had to find the funding for ourselves. Um, so we often like did fundraisers, um, but we never got sponsorships. That was one thing we never got sponsorships, even though Coke, I believe does sponsor some of the teams in our school. Um, but one day, um, uh, two Red Bull spokespeople, uh, come to our Quidditch practice. I'm not sure if we invited them or if they just stumbled into one of our practices, but they had a backpack cooler full of mini Red Bull cans. 
like mini Red Bull cans, the miniature ones that are just packed full of caffeine. Um, and we decide, you know what? We're almost at the end of practice. Let's try, no, sorry. We were in the middle of practice and we were like, why not? Let's try one. And then if we like it, uh, we'll have them on as a sponsor for the team because I mean, Red Bull sponsor would be fucking huge, right? Um, so we take uh, only one. Everyone took one Red Bull each, uh, one tiny Red Bull. So about half the size of a full Red Bull. Uh, we were really hyper. It tasted okay. It was fine. Um, people say that Red Bull tastes like battery acid, and I was like, that's a fair comparison, but it was just okay. Mine was like blueberry flavored. Um, and we ran around for about like an hour, and then we completely crashed. Like, we were, we were on the field, running around for a good hour, and then all of a sudden, everyone just collapsed onto the field and no one could move a muscle because we were so dead inside. Um, and uh, that is where my hatred of uh, 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 of uh, energy drinks comes from uh, because we just crashed completely and we had no energy to continue doing uh, the, the practice. And we were like, yeah, no, this is not happening. We're not gonna take these people on as sponsors because if we can't use them to play sports or for any other purposes, no, we, we can't have them on as a sponsor. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. And <laughs> don't you dare kill corn. I mean, I can't, I, if, if I don't kill corn, then I lose, you know, I kind of have to do it. <laughs> Don't worry, we can always make up for it if we encounter corn sometime down the line. Uh, my parents won't, uh, won't let me have energy drinks because you're ADHD. I mean, that's fair. That seems like that would put that into complete overdrive, right? I can't imagine because I don't have ADHD and I don't have friends who have ADHD. So I'm not like, I don't have the firsthand knowledge of how people would react to that. Um, but uh, yeah, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Hello, Star Master from the YouTube side of things. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Um, what did you miss? We are currently training up for the second gym. So we've done the first gym and got our first badge easily. We did it with my shiny spy dops. Easy peasy. And then we beat the stony cliff titan. Um, uh, with my Florigato. And now we are just leveling up a little bit so we can get closer to the level limit of 17. So we can start uh, and go to the Grass Gym. And then we can get a bunch of encounters after that. But yeah, how are you doing, Star Master? I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for coming by. Um, but yeah, so I have a Shiny Spy Dops. Uh, the first time I ever have ever enacted Shiny Claws because I have done Nuzlocks for a very long time on my own before I started streaming, and I've never enacted Shiny Claws before, ever. So I was so happy um, to um, to finally get a Shiny Pokemon for a Nuzlocke, it's so cool. Also, hello, funny ass act, how are you doing? How are you doing? Thanks so much for coming by, first time chatter in the Twitch stream. How are you? How are you? As I was saying, we're on our, we're doing a Nuzlocke right now, and we're just grinding a little bit to get some levels um, for the gym because Brassius has a level 17 Sudowoodo and um, we have a we have a funny strategy to try and beat him. I like your voice and you give me good vibes. Aw, thank you. That's so sweet of you. That's really kind of you. That's a Vivalon. Run. <laughs> Swap out into something else. Swap out into something else for the love of ever. What does a Vivalon have at this level? Um, are raid Pokemon allowed? Oh, we do have a raid Pokemon. Um, I allow one encounter. I allow one encounter from raids. One sec, let me take a look at Vivalon. I wanna see what this thing's moveset is because I, I've not looked up what these gym trainers have. I'm going in completely blind because I think it's funnier. Um, so this thing has light screen struggle bug. Okay, we do not want to leave this thing here because it has struggle bug. Um, and it has all the powders. So, yeah, I think we just go into Reagan and we smack down. I think that's the way to do it. Vivalon's scary. I mean, we could also go into Cellophane. Cellophane would be pretty good. Um, I mean, we wouldn't be able to do that much. Let's just go into Reagan and see. Um, is it weird that my Pokemon are level 20 to 25 and I haven't even left the school? Nah, nah. You do things at your own pace. You do things at your own pace. No worries about that. 
Hello, Mr. Me. How's it going on the YouTube side of things? Thanks so much for coming by. How are you doing? And also a light screen. Turn one. Easy peasy. I'm replaying the game because my Switch corrupted. No. That's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's awful. All right. This thing should die in one hit. Um, I didn't lose my purchases, at least. To just all your data for the games. Yeah. Dang. That is unfortunate. Also, whew, we kind of dodged a bullet on this Vivalon. Not going to lie. Vivalon... For my team, I have grass and I have flying and bug type weaknesses galore, and it's terrifying. <laughs> Hundreds of shinies down the draw. No, no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's awful here. Um, <laughs> Donler with hmm, new person here. Um, let me catch up on the YouTube stream now. Uh, this, is, this is only my second time uh, doing a multi-stream between YouTube and Twitch, so I have both the Twi I have both the chats up, so I need to go back and forth between all of them. Um, you like replaying the game anyway? It's relaxing? I do like this game a lot. I I've replayed this game the most in over the past couple of Pokemon games since uh, uh, X and Y. Alright, so in your Nuzlocke and Shield, I'm allowed one Grass Encounter and one Dynamax Den Encounter after every gym. Nice, nice. Um... And my advice is to look for Charcadet for the raid. Sarah Ledge can be broken if you get early. Oh, I know how broken Sarah Ledge can be. Because <laughs> thank you so much for the gift sub to Funny Ass Axe on Twitch. Thank you so much. Pardon me, Donler. That's really very kind of you. You're you're just you're you're just out for blood in terms of gift subs on Twitch, not gonna lie. <laughs> you're just out for blood. Um but yeah, Sarah Ledge solos Mela. Uh the fire type uh Team Star base. Just 100% solos her. It's really easy. Um, I did that for my damage list playthrough. No, I didn't do that for my damage list playthrough. Did I? I did that for my pacifist playthrough. Yeah, I did that for my pacifist playthrough. That's what I did. Um, I completely soloed her um, uh, because of flash fire and swift. Easy peasy. Um, all right, so back to what I was saying. Um... I am allowed one Terra Raid encounter, one Terra Raid encounter, and I wanted to wait until I was finished with this gym, because that way my Pokemon will be around level 20, um, and it'll be safer to go into the Terra Raids, uh, because I think it'll be, um, I, I think it would be a bit weird if I just decide I'm not going to allow my Pokemon to die in the Terra Raids. I think there should be some form of punishment to try and go into Terra Raids. So I think I'm going to allow myself to lose Pokemon in the Terra Raids. And if I lose a Pokemon in the Terra Raids, I also lose the encounter. I think that's how I'm going to go about it. Do you guys think I'm too harsh on that? This is my first Nuzlocke of this game. So do you guys have any ideas? Do people usually allow yourselves to, uh, have your Pokemon faint during the battle, but just for the encounter? Let me know. Um, so let me see. What else is the uh, same thing happened to me? Your Switch corrupted? I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Me. Um, Vivalon is number 66, 666 in the National Dex for a reason. Yep, you're right about that. That Vivalon was scary. Uh, my Shinies were safe because I had them in home, but I did lose all my Paldea Shinies. No, no. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Pay no attention to YouTube. We're the new, one. We're the new ones. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uwu is my character uh, name for all my Nuzlocks. Um, uh, for my challenge runs, I usually do the command name on Twitch. So like for uh, damage list, I did exclamation point damage for my pacifist playthrough, which is on my YouTube if you want to check out the full video. Um, you can check that out after the stream if you want to. I did exclamation point pacifist, and I just recently uh, finished ex uh, finished my metronome playthrough, which was exclamation point metronome. Um, yes, I turned it off. I didn't want it to be spammed. Um, the command for exclamation point metronome. But I completed a metronome only playthrough, and I think I'm the only one to have done it. So I'm going to make a full video about that uh, during the summer. Um, if you lose in the terror raid, you have to roll a dice and release a Pokemon on your team. Is that how people usually do it? Because I think it's more fair that you just lose the Pokemon that you, um, that you put in there, right? I think that's more logical. In my opinion, in my opinion. Uh, people can do it however they want to. Um, alright, so I think I'm gonna put Spidops in the front because Spidops is... Spinops has low XP gain. We need this. We need this thing to catch up real quick. I don't even 
think I've fought the majority of these trainers before in my previous playthrough. Uh, in my first ever playthrough, I should say. Oh yeah, shiny spy dops. Shiny spy dops. Because I got this off stream while I was uh, EB training. So it's my first ever shiny Pokemon for a Nuzlocke. My first time ever doing shiny, uh, a shiny claws. Look at it. It's beautiful. Um, it's harder? Yeah, fair. But I mean, a hardcore Nuzlocke is already hard enough. So I don't really feel that like I need to go random with it right with like randomly uh killing a pokemon if i go through a terror raid i think it's more logical that the pokemon that dies just dies you know but yeah so in my first playthrough i've i've never really actually fight these trainers which is really funny um go away makahita um i've never really fought these trainers before so i don't really remember what these guys have <laughs> um is there just one more trainer that i can fight around here that's not the big bad let me take a look see is there any other trainer around here? Hello? Ah! Hello! Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout! Yoo-hoo! I fight every trainer because I'm a Jeep. That's fair. But for me, for my first playthrough, I thought it was a bit tedious, not gonna lie. Because it's kind of like Elden Ring. In a way, because in Elden Ring, or in any other open world games, you have, um, like, a lot of dungeons that you need to explore. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll finish my point, and then I'll get into something that Dahmer just re uh, redeemed on the Twitch side of things. Um, there's so much that you have to explore, and if you complete every single little thing, it kind of gets tedious over time, you know? So I stopped fighting trainers after a while. I just got the XP that I needed, and then I dipped. Ooh, Joker is at almost level 18. All right, I think that's a sign from the gods to not train anymore. <laughs> Look at how close that was. Oh my god. That was terrifyingly close. I think that's a sign. 7 XP. Ooh. Ooh, if Joker got to level 18, I wouldn't be able to use it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Is it hot in here? All right. I think that's a sign to get started on the next gym. Let's go. All right. Go over here. All right. So, um, let me... So, for uh, the redemption for Twitch, I have a 3,000-point redemption where I am not allowed to swear for 10 minutes. And if I swear, I put an extra 10 minutes on the clock. So I'm not allowed to swear. Keep things family friendly and whatnot. So here we are. Three, two, one. Bam. You see it. It started. 10 minutes. It'll beep. And I can swear like a sailor again. Uh, you know, after a couple of years of searching my old save file of sword, I found my original team. My first Cinderace, Corviknight, Boltund as well, and my old Lycanroc and Scizor. Nice. That's a really good team. Um... Yeah, remember when people thought Love Disc evolved into a Lola Mola? I mean, that's a fair. That's that's fair, honestly. Like, I can see why. You know, I can see why that happens <laughs> because they're literally like design-wise, they are so close to one another. It's so funny. Um, Alrighty, what's the name of the new member? You mean like you mean Spydops? Um, Spydops is um. Uh, a spy ops is cellophane. I love disc. Okay, I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to trip me up. Oh, the new. Oh, the new chatter. Uh. 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 Oh, you're trying to make me say funny's name. Ha! You're not gonna get me. You're not gonna get me. Nope. I refuse. I have a refusal. And I am refusing. Um, do I have any berries? I don't need to worry about... Um, yeah, I don't really need these berries. I don't have to worry... So, Alright, so here's the strategy. Um, Maractus looks like it, it's an evolution of Cacnea. That's also fair. Um, so I have a strategy. Um, and Donner actually... Um, uh, uh, brought this up to me. I was thinking about this, but then Donner uh, brought it up to me again. I was like, yeah, this actually makes sense. Um, Bambi has Sap Sipper, and um, uh, 
I believe Brassius's first Pokemon only has grass moves. So what we can do is we can just constantly growl his Pokemon uh, until we're plus six attack, and then we sweep his entire team, including uh, the Pseudo Wudo. I'm not sure if we can s kill the Pseudo Wudo because I'm not sure how much attack it, uh, how much defense it has, but we can bypass the sturdy at the very least. So we might as well try this. We've tried funny strategies anyway. Like we just soloed the grass gym with cellophane and we just soloed the 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 stony cliff titan with joker. What's what's another solo? You know, why not just solo another gym with a pokemon? Why not? <laughs> Like, here I am thinking, man, I'm going to definitely, like, swap out all my Pokemon with one another. I'm going to do some really cool-looking plays. Meanwhile, I'm just putting my Pokemon out there. Just click. 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 <laughs> like, not to say that this game is the easiest Nuzlocke or anything, but for the first couple of gyms, I remember people saying it was really tough. Uh, back when, like, a couple of months after the game had come out and people, like, started actually doing Nuzlocke's because they knew more about the game. And then they were like, oh my god, the Bug Gym is so tough and the, the, the Grass Gym is even tougher. And I'm just sitting here, like, <laughs> I'm just sitting here with just Pokemon that'll just solo them for me. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't even think that this team was good because I just looked at this team and it's just, like, a Deerling, a, a Diglett. A spy dops. Not exactly the most interesting team you would think of. Because I was thinking like Fletchling and Fletchender. Um, you can also get Lechonk, which can evolve into Oink Cologne, which is a pretty good Pokemon. Um, uh, Paldean Wooper and Claude Zire. Those two Pokemon are amazing. But nope, I have this team. And it's fine. It's perfectly fine. It's crazy. I'm shocked. I mean... Before I put my money where my mouth is, let's see how the grass gym goes first. And then I'll laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> Alrighty. Also, we have five minutes and a bit. Let me let it focus in. Five minutes and a bit before the timer for not swearing runs out. Alrighty. Let's go do the Sunfloras. Do, 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 do. What Terra, uh, what Terra is a uh, deerling? Um, it is the vine type. <laughs> the thing is, even if I said like like grass typing, that doesn't count because I'm not saying the actual word. I'm say I'm saying the word of the thing that is on the earth. <laughs> it's different with say like Funny's name, where like the the word is a part of the name. You know, that's completely different. Also, I forgot that these ones are free. Do, 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 do. Oh, uh, it is it is grass type. It is grass type. I thought you were trying to get me on that. It's just grass type, but we have bullet seed. If we went to Lavincia to buy the, uh, the dice, then we would have a guaranteed, uh, it, uh, just straight up, just 80 power uh, bullet seed or 100, either 80 or 100. Uh, power with the stab and then with the Terra. Even then, I am not sure that um, we can uh, we can kill the pseudo Wudo in one round. I still think it'll take two rounds, even with plus six attack. Even a three hit Terra Bullet Seed does more than double kick. Okay, I guess we want to go for the, the, the dice then. That is going to be 20,000 bucks though, so we're going to need to come up with 20,000. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But the dice, I mean, I've not really used the dice in this game a lot. Oh god, the teleporting. The teleporting flowers. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, I haven't used the dice in my regular playthroughs in a long while. In my playthroughs in a long while. So I should probably go pick that up. That'd be a funny item to get. And I also need to get the quick claw while I'm here. Uh, my attack stat is 32, because I have minus attack. Um, my attack stat, uh, it, my attack stat is 32. Do, 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 Alrighty, um, oh, wait, I already went this way. Uh, mazes. Whee! 
Ha! I cheat your maze. You can't. Ooh, DM. Poison Tail. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn that, but I am curious. I actually do have a lot of TMs, though. What can Pokemon learn? Obviously, Protect. Ooh, okay. Low Kick would be pretty good. Pounce, obviously, but we're not going to do Pounce because it's kind of a bad move. Um, no one can learn Metronome. <laughs> um, rest, Pollen Puff, Phantom Force. Yeah, no TMs. Double Kick does 34 to 43. Ah! Does 34 to 43%. Um, so that's just two hits on the, 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 the bullet seed. Interesting. So even at plus six, it only does that much. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. So, all right. That sounds good then. We'll go for the dice. Because then we'll guaranteed get five, uh, four or five hits, and that will two round the pseudo wudo with a chance of one rounding. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the dice. Because if another two hits does, oh no, that won't one round. If we get five hits in, it's a minimum of fifteen. So 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15, that's 60. So it's a minimum 60. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying it's a minimum of 60% damage with a maximum of nine. Okay, never mind. It's going to be 60 and a 95. One rounding is if we get a crit. Okay. But you, uh, uh, since you did the calcs, you would be right on that. So let's go on a little trip. Um... And I'll put my doggo in the front so we don't uh, accidentally run into a Pokemon. 77 to 92. And that's including the Terra? Is that including the Terra, I curiosity? Alrighty. Let's hope I don't see a shiny on the way because that thing will be a little higher level than we are. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Also, 30 seconds left on the clock for no swearing. And um, your... Sorry, back to the YouTube chat. Boss just got an encounter. Female Combi! Let's go! You didn't get a male one. Congrats, congrats on that. And plus 6% with a Terra. Okay, yeah. So, Grass Terra Bullet Seed is the way to go for the entire fight. Good to know. Good to know. But yeah, if you got a male combi, I would be crying for you because that's awful. That is dreadful. Oh, and that's the sound of the thing. Boop. All right, I can swear again. Yay. And Pseudo Wudo will only do a max of 40% with rock throw. Well, here's my defense if you want to double check that. Because we have 23 defense. 23 defense and 54 HP. Because I did put a little bit of HP investment in. Just a tad bit. Just a little just a little drizzle. Do 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 Yeah, so after this, we can get six encounters. Because I will finally be at a decent enough level to go do a Terra. Uh, I can finally be at a good level to do a Terra raid. So let's do it. All right, any items in the sand? No. All right. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. You know what shiny would fucking slap if I ever got shiny claws? Gyarados. That, let me pick up the item. Um, a, a shiny Gyarados for a shiny claws would hit so hard. Because Intimidate and Gyarados, mwah. <laughs> a crit high roll rock throw does 66.6%. .6%. That's funny. So all we basically need to hope for is that we don't... Well, actually, no. So even with a crit, we don't care. As long as we're faster. If we're faster, then we win. We should be faster. But there is a universe where somehow this pseudo wudo has maximum speed. No, it's, it's, it's just hardy nature, right? It's hardy nature with 25... Uh, or 20 uh, IVs across the board with no EVs. 
Male Combi should evolve into something like Vespa King or uh, Wasp Prince or a Bugsteel drone-like Pokemon. I do like the idea of a drone Pokemon. That sounds like a cool idea. Um, um, because the only problem with, like, the way that they themed Combi and Vespaquin is, like, you have the worker bees, which are, just, like, the, the worker honeybees, and then you have the queen, right? So, like, only the queens can be, only the females can be queens, and the males are always the worker bees. So that's the only issue with that. Um, which sucks, honestly, because I hate gender-locked evolutions. Like, no one has ever said that they love shiny male Salandit. Because shiny male Salandit cannot evolve into regular Salazzle. <laughs> like, why is that a thing? <laughs> You have all the saved presets? Dang. I need to get on your level because I always do the calculations by hand. Um, okay, so loaded dice is 20k. We'll, we'll need to go uh, uh, sell an arm and a limb really quickly. We can probably sell some of the more useless TMs. That would probably be easy money. Let's also sell all these battle items. I also just want to check what I have. Yeah, get rid of all this... Get rid of all this crap. Get that crap out of here. Imagine a female Gallade. That would be interesting. I'd be certain that there's fan art of that kind of stuff. Ooh, Phantom Force is 10k and Palm Puff is 10k. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot of money. Um, I don't think I would use Fling. So let's get rid of Fling. We need Metro. I mean, I'm fine with the I'm fine with having Metronome around for a rainy day, I'm not gonna lie. And, ah, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, who's Rem? <laughs> Who, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry, boss, who's Rem? Who, who are they? Um, <laughs> did you see the, um, uh, the third season trailer that came out for ReZero? Uh, 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 it came out a couple of days ago. It's fantastic. You should watch it if you haven't already, because it's coming out in October. I'm so excited because I'm going to be re-watching the entire series with my sister because we both love it. The first time that I watched ReZero, I actually didn't like it because I thought that Subaru... No, never mind. I didn't even sell enough. Um, I thought that Subaru was very annoying. Um, and I didn't really like the concept in general. But after I watched it a second time and I really got into the show and like all the characterizations and stuff, I really liked it. And I have no idea why. Like it's actually very well crafted. So I'm really excited for the third season. Cause the character writing is just really good. Cause I am a sucker for characters that are like strong characters and strong character, strongly, uh, strongly made characters. Not Gardevoir, female, Gallade, like how Gardevoir can be male and female. I think Gallade, Gallade should be male and female too. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Do, do, do. All right, pay with cash. All right, now we got the loaded dice. Now it's time to clown on Brassius too with another solo. <laughs> oh man, this is, the, this, is, this is a funny start to the Nuzlocke. I was honestly a little more nervous about the Nuzlocke when... I started up stream today because I was like, oh man, this bug gym's gonna go rough, and then the Titan's gonna go rough, and then the grass gym is gonna go rough, and it's just like, oh gosh, how is this gonna go? Um no fear. No fear. <laughs> oh man. No no fear. No fear. No thoughts. Oh, no thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> My favorite fossil Pokemon is what? You've, I don't think you've actually ever told me. Um, um, I would... Mm, I think you would probably be an Aurorus fan. Like an Amora Aurorus fan. Because it's a very adorable little dino. Um... But if not, what is your favorite fossil Pokemon? My favorite is Tyrantrum. It's because you're a radical red run. Ah, what is it? All right, let's save so there's no crashes or anything. Always save your game. 
even in a Nuzlocke, because if something crashes, it is Aurorus! Aren't I just a genius? <laughs> You got parental bond on an Aurorus? Sheesh. That's crazy. Um, all right, let's go in. What's my favorite fossil Pokemon? Um, well, I mean, I would probably append you as an Aurorus fan as well because it's really cute. Um, because you like cute things and pink things. But I can't think of any of the fossil Pokemon that can be pink, right? Because you have purple with Aerodactyl, but not pink. Because I know you're notorious. You 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 are notorious for liking pink. I'll guess that yours is Aurorus as well. I'm probably wrong, and I'm probably being very very short sighted of what your favorite fossil is. Your favorite fossil is Caracosta Boss. Nice. That's a good choice. I loved Caracosta from uh, Black and White. That was my choice of fossil. Um, because I went with the fire starter and I didn't have a water type on the team at the time. And then I saw, um, Caracosta and I loved Caracosta. Um, it's not my favorite. It's not my favorite one, but it was still a fun one to use. And Dracovish, ah, oh, the, the PTSD of all of the competitive people in, uh, Sword and Shield. Just Dracovish with Fish's Rend. <laughs> Oh man, those were the times, huh? <laughs> yeah, what is your favorite one? Uh, guess again? Well, I'm gonna be a little distracted, so why don't you tell me? Alrighty. Let's get into this battle with Brassius. This should be really easy. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's Lily. That's cute. That's cute. Lily is adorable. All right, Barassius, I have come to you with a strategy that will absolutely destroy you. Who needs a fire type when you have another grass type on your team with Sap Zipper, you know? There's no need for a Fletchender. There's no need for a fire starter Pokemon when you can just let your opponent set you up. You know, like there's no problems here. I can't believe that we're about to do this. We're about to just clown on the third major fight of the game. <laughs> oh, I feel so evil and I love it. Honestly, Deerling, vastly underrated. Vastly underrated Pokemon. I did use Sawsbuck in my uh, initial playthrough of... Um, black and white um but um i put it away after that because it's not the best pokemon but this sap zipper uh, sap zipper bambi is awesome you just found a shiny torkoal let's go star master congrats let's go that's awesome where'd you find it i forget where torkoal spawns in this game where'd you find it out of curiosity but let's go shiny torkoal is a great one Alrighty, so we're on... I think this is the... This is the sixth growl. I've just been here clicking and not counting. <laughs> Alright, I think we're finally at the maximum. Yep, we're at max plus six. We've got the grass terra type. We've got the loaded dice. Now it's time to just completely plow through his entire team. Go! Grass, terra, bullet seed with the loaded dice. Oh, this is going to be so funny. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be beautiful. It's going to be magnificent. All right, Bambi. <laughs> oh! <laughs> get fucked, idiot. <laughs> this is what you get for only having grass-type moves on your team, brother. Let's go. Oh, man. It brings a tear to my eye. It brings a tear to my eye. Alrighty. Brings out the Smoliv. Again. Easy kill. 
um, uh, uh, Canyon Biome and Blueberry Academy in the wild. I didn't hunt for it. I'm just trying to complete the Blueberry Pokedex. Nice. Let's go. So you just got a random one. Let's go. Alrighty. Bullet Seed again. Just again. Just turn off your brain. Turn off your brain. Just click the Bullet Seed. <laughs> and you would have been using Double Kick. I mean, Double Kick would have still destroyed both of these smaller Pokemon. But... I think uh, you are correct that it is the better option against Sudowoodo. And look at that. Like, I, I didn't even edge my Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't even edge train my Pokemon. Because I was just so scared of Florigato getting into level 18 before the gym. And I was like, ah, screw it. We're just going to go in. <laughs> like, why bother edge training my Pokemon? Why bother? I have a level 17 that's nowhere close to being level 18. I have a level 16 Pokemon. This level 17 Pokemon's not near 18. This one's 18. This one's also 18. But this one's also 17. <laughs> Alrighty. And now I throw caution to the wind. Bullet seed again. <laughs> ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, let's see how this goes. This will be very funny. Oh man, I'm so excited. Because again, this is one of those gyms where people have a hard time. Like, this is where I saw that a lot of people were having their first obstacles in their Nuzlocks. And here we are just clowning on it. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is so good. Come on, get a crit. Come on, get a crit so we can one round it. It would be so funny. Come on, get a crit. Oh! Oh, I, I think that was it. That was a crit! Oh, but we only got four. Oh, that's disappointing. And wow, that did nothing in return. All right. Bullet Seed, how daring. You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? Bullet Seed. GG. Easy. <laughs> oh, man. Who knew? I, I thought that this was going to be harder. It will get harder. But I thought in the moment that these two first gyms and the first Titan would actually be much harder than they actually were. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just a bully. I'm just a bully, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, beautiful. And we got Roar. Mm, no. Nah. Unless I get like a, um, a kind of team where I do hazards with Roar, not exactly what I need. This is why you let me cook, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, so my original strategy was going to be to use Deerling as well. Because of the grass typing. Because it it would have been not superly affected by the Mega Drain. Um, and it wouldn't have been touched by the, uh, the Sleep Powder. But you brought up the Sap Sipper. And I was like... Yeah, that's actually a very good point. I didn't know that mine had Sap Sipper. What's the other ability that Deerling has? Because I thought I had the other ability. What's the other ability for Deerling? Uh, I put in Durling and it didn't even autocorrect. What's its other ability? Chlorophyll. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get Chlorophyll. <laughs> that was very helpful that I didn't get Chlorophyll. <laughs> It, it works out perfectly for me. All right. And also just making sure that my chat is up. All right, good. Because last stream, I wasn't very attentive to the, the YouTube side of things. And I felt really bad about it. Because two people came by last stream for my first ever YouTube multi-stream. And I accidentally ignored them because it was all, my chat was off in the corner. But this time, I popped out the chat. And it's right next to my uh, Twitch chat. On my screen, on my other screen, because I have two screens. Bring Deerling to Mela. Trust. Nah. <laughs> Plus, I mean, we'll have to see what our encounters are, because guess what? We can go get encounters now. Alrighty, so. Uh, where shall we go first? We have a lot of options for where we want to go hunt. And also for training purposes, we can go train uh, against trainers in Southern Area 5 because we want to get the Eviolite. If we get the Eviolite, we're great. 
Yes, you guys get to pick names. Oh, so for the uh, so for the naming theme for our Nuzlocke is um, anime characters, cartoon characters, and I'm also counting um, uh, 3D animated films or TV shows as well. So like not video game me 3D animation, but like TV shows like. I don't, uh, the Miraculous Ladybug, for example, that, that, that's, that, that would be like a classic example. Or we can talk about like Pixar movies, Pixar movies. That's another one that, that'll count because there are, it's technically still animation. So I'll allow it. Um, I allowed it for the Underminer because it's the perfect name, <laughs> which is from the Incredibles. Alrighty, let's go for our first encounter. East Province Area 1. All right. Pokemon Violet East Province Area 1. Also, hey, Blue. How's it going? How's it going? Thank you so much for coming by. How are you doing? And you guys have... Uh, I will get a has-been name or a JoJo's name. I need to watch Has-Been Hotel because my sisters have been hyping it up a lot because I didn't know that it was a musical show, actually um until they told me and i was like oh i didn't know that all right i'm down because i love musicals um so i will definitely pick up that show at some point when uh i'm off school um but yeah so remember it's the first per if uh, depending on the pokemon obviously um it's the first person who gets the redemption so keep that in mind um so on the encounter list we have one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times six is 42. 43 encounters. Not all of which we're going to be able to get, but we have 43 options here. Um, minus Deerling and minus... Did we get... No, we didn't get a Young Goose. Yeah, we got a Diggly in there. Yeah, okay. So we have like 39... No, 38 encounters. 37 encounters, because I'm seeing spite ops on here as well. Anyway. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Give me a number between 1 and 41. 24. 24. Um, so, 6, 12. Ugh. I mean... Bounce Sweet is okay. It's a Bounce Sweet. It, it, you can evolve it into Serena, the, the, the Step On Me Pokemon, and get Queenly Majesty. That's not awful per se, but I have enough Grass types. <laughs> I gotta say, my, my fight against the Water Gym is going to be stacked. <laughs> okay, uh, Steeny. And it's level 22. That's above the level limit. So I want to find a bounce suite. We could name it Lilith. Uh, what show would you be... What character would you be referring to with Lilith? Because the, 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 the... It's been a while since I've watched anime, so not all of the anime names are going to come immediately to mind. Uh, the Queen of Hell from Has Been. Okay, okay, gotcha. And of course, YouTube stream your... Ah! Run, 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 run. Oh no, that's a fighting type Pokemon. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, Scrappy Doo, you can survive one. You can survive one, right? And then run away, right? Right. I believe. But yeah, so um, uh, YouTube stream, you are definitely allowed to offer suggestions as well. Eee! No, Scrappy Doo! Ah, uh, I should have swapped in the Spide Ops. All because I accidentally ran into a Tauros. Why are Tauros is available this early on in the game? It's so stupid. God damn it, I wasn't paying attention, and I got Scrappy-Doo killed. 
Rip, rip, ripperoni. I was hoping for to win. It, it didn't even take a gym to kill my Pokemon. It didn't even take a gym to kill my Pokemon. Also, sorry. <clears throat> nice. Oh, man. Ah, go away, Tauros. Okay, maybe this area is too high level for me at the moment, but let's see. Let's take a little gander around. Because I swear there are like level 18s around here somewhere. Yeah, it didn't even take... It didn't even take a gym to kill my Pokemon. It took a Tauros, which is just overkill. What about Sailor Moon for Bounce Suite? I mean, that would technically work. I mean, it's a pretty... I would say that's pretty fitting because it's very like... Ah! Okay, I'm going slow. I'm going to drive like an old man. I, I am not going to risk this anymore. Aren't there supposed to be bounce suites around here somewhere? Where the hell are the bounce suites? Because that's a steamy. Oh, and I need to... Um, uh, I need to get... Uh, and I just got Thunderfang too. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, and I got to put the... Yeah, Tauros is now immediately going to be a PTSD moment for me. I was hoping to get as far as I could without a death, but I was being silly. It's fine. It was my fault. If I had Intimidate, though, instead of run away, I definitely would have survived, but... Um, what about Fallen from Delicious in Dungeon? I don't know what that is. But I'll take your word for it. But first, we have to find a fucking Steenie. Where the hell are the Steenies? There's only... Only Steen. Oh, sorry, where are the bounce suites? We only have seen Steenies. And now I'm sad because we probably just could have avoided this area for now until we beat, um, uh, until we beat the 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 the, the dark, um, like the 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 the, 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 the dark team star base. Come on. Check Discord. All right, give me one second. I need to be careful where I'm driving here. Where are the bounce suites? Because it said it's in this area, and I'm not going to go pick up a Steeny because there's no point. Because it's going to be overleveled. All right, pause. Taking a look at Steen. Uh, taking a look at Discord. Nothing is on Discord yet. Okay, great. <laughs> you baited me. <laughs> All right, come on. Where are you, you stupid bounce suite? I lost a Pokemon trying to find you. Bounce suites are in trees. Ugh. Not only did I have to get an annoying Pokemon, I lost one of my Pokemon because a Tauros evaporated into existence. Uh, now I'm pissed. I had such a such a high morale at the very beginning with like, oh, I'm just destroying these gyms. And now I'm sad because I lost a Pokemon and now I can't find a fucking bounce suite. Oh, how the karma sells in. <laughs> okay, I think if you just ra if you just ram into the tree. Oh, nope, that's a Kamala, right? Because if you just ram into the trees, they fall out usually. It's there now. All right, I'll check in a second. Gotta keep an eye out for those stray Tauroses. Ugh. This is so sad. I know it's only one death, but still. Um. Thanks, Dawnler. Thanks. That is so helpful. <laughs> That is so helpful, you know, the, the the bounce suites are around there, where I currently am at. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, and I don't think these big trees count for anything. Alright, you know what, actually, I'm gonna have... Flor I'm going to have uh, Florigato at the front of the party because it's the fastest thing I have. So if I run into another Tauros, then I am just going to try and run. Can I trade you a bounce suite? I'm not going to do trading because um, I don't like outside influences. Um, I don't like outside influences on my games whenever I do like challenge runs and whatnot. 
What do you mean it's more detailed? It's just the map. Did I miss something? Cause it's just in the trees, but we haven't seen any in the trees. Are there any other details that I missed on that image? <laughs> At this point, I'll just find a fucking shiny Pokemon before I find a fucking bounce sweet. <laughs> Let me check again. It tells you what area in the province, but I can't see it. It's hard to tell. Oh, I didn't see those. Okay, I see now. It's hard to see because my Discord is very small. I don't have it like a big screen. I have it like half the size of my screen because I don't like it. Ha I don't like having the Discord at full uh, a full screen. So I usually keep it smaller. So I couldn't see the, the little Pokeball markings. My bad. Alrighty, let's take a leap of faith. And I mean not a leap of faith, but we will go over to that beach. Ugh. All this effort for a bounce suite that may or may not be used. <laughs> you know what, while we're at it, since we're in the area anyway, let's go to air. Let's check out what area two's encounter is. I mean, I found two full odd shinies a day within a few minutes of each other alone, so it's not far fetched as you think. Fair, fair. Um, let me go get the second encounter while we're at it, because we're already in area two, so we might as well check. Oh, pfft. this one has way more encounters. Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So sixty-six encounters. Jesus. Okay, Google. Give me a number between one and sixty-six. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Oh, you're gonna make me work for my food? Okay. Um. Carbominable. Well, that's not... I'm not able to do that, and I'm not sure if I'm able to do Crabrawler, right? Because Crabrawler is on that island, right? Do I have to do a redo on that encounter? I'm not sure if Crabrawler spawn on that beach. I think they only spawn um, on the, the little island on the river, and I'm not sure if I can even reach it. Let me know. Because if I can't reach it, I'll just re-roll it. I mean, having a water type is finally nice. Um, but then it's going to turn into ice fighting. And it's like, I'd much rather have a water type. No, it's just a fighting type. Sorry, water type. Um, Crabrawler after Titan? What do you mean by after Titan? Oh, yeah, I could swim over there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I could do that. I can wait. I can be patient. It's not like I'm going to need it for the next... Uh, it's not like I'm going to need it for the Titan, right? Because it's a flying type Titan. Alrighty, let's go and get this stupid fucking bounce suite that killed one of my Pokemon. Thank you very much. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid flower baby with a fucking diaper. I'm pissed. You pissed me off. <laughs> To be fair, I could have double-checked where it was, and then I would have been able to save it, and whatever. <laughs> Alright. Little children, it's time for you to become mine. Boop. Bounce sweet. Bounce sweet. Ah, bounce sweet, you dicks. Eh. Get down here. Uh, no, why, what are you doing that for? Get over here! This is what I have to show for everything after I lose a... Honestly, a pretty cool Pokemon. I'm sad that I lost Scrappy. I'm very sad. Um, I think I'm just going to throw a ball. And I think I'll just do... I'll do a Dusk Ball because it's nighttime right now. Let's name it Lunch. Lund Ooh, Lunch is a pretty good name, right? Lunch is from, 
One Piece, right? Lunch is from One Piece? I like it. All right, I think I'll call it lunch, but if you guys have any suggestions and or if you want to force the name on Twitch, you can pay 5,000 points for it, I think. Um, it is up to you, but for now I will um, for now I will call it lunch because I think that's a I think that's a pretty fitting name. I don't exactly remember what lunch looks like, but I know I, I know who lunch is. Or no, is that Dragon Ball? Is that Dragon Ball? I don't know anymore. Is it Dragon Ball or One Piece? Hmm. Oh, were you even th were you even thinking about an anime name? Or no, you were just calling it lunch because of food. So the the we have a theme going on. We have a theme going on where we're doing anime names, cartoon names, or three D animated uh characters from like movies and tv shows names um so for example i have uh, a few anime names on my uh on my team uh scrappy doo for example is uh scrappy doo from the uh, the scooby doo uh, cartoon show it just so happens that lunch is is an anime name <laughs> i know that for certain <laughs> i'll call it lunch Okay, now let's be Depresso Espresso and go down south, shall we? We take the long walk of shame after losing a Pokemon because of a fucking Tauros. Because of course it was a fucking Tauros. <laughs> I hate everything so much. I wanted to use Scrappy-Doo so much. And Runaway would have actually allowed us to go up north to go grab a bunch of items. But now we don't have that option anymore unless we somehow get a Ghost-type Pokemon. Not likely. But we still have four encounters, so you never know. You never know. Uh, sorry. Wrong way. Up the stairs. Eh. <laughs> if Arvin's dog doesn't die, yours has to. Fair. It's the law of equivalent exchange. If one dog has to die so another dog can survive, fine. <laughs> All right, we're not concerned with Area 1 because we already got our Area 1 encounter. Because that was Bounce Sweet. And now we're in Southern Province Area 5. Okay. Um, Southern Province. South Province. Area 5. It's a canon event. <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't even a canon event. It was just a careless event. Sweet Jesus, there's so many Pokemon here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 times 6 is 84, 87 encounters. Jesus Christ. Yeah, see, there's no way that doing this blindfolded benefits anyone. You know, because you can just be so biased with blindfolding, you know? So that's why I'm doing it like this, where I'm getting a random number and checking it off against the list of Pokemon that are listed here, because that's, I think that's way better uh, in terms of keeping things random. Um, okay, Google. Give me a number between 1 and 75. 72. Ah! Why? It was so close. It was just too off. I just wanted 74. If we got 74, we would have gotten Flamigo. Ah. Oh. Uh, 72 is Flittle. 72 is Flittle. Um, so we're gonna have to go looking around for that one. I mean, Flittle isn't a bad Pokemon, but it's not something I would have really liked because we do have the dark type. Uh, we have two dark type Pokemon coming up on our list of things to do, you know? So it's not the most useful. Also, is Flittle in here or near the grassy spire? What do you mean by grassy spire?
What, what do you mean by that? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Do you mean by the mountain? Like that big mountain over there? Cause I'm just going up here very quickly to go get the, uh, the TM for money. Whee! The big grassy mountain. Okay, thank you for directions. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, give me that. Ooh, drain punch. If only we had a Pokemon that could punch. I know Flittle can't do that. Yes, that is spiral shaped. Yes, yes, yes. I just did, I would never call it a grassy spiral. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Ah, do, do. I was just trying to get my YouTube chat back up. All right, perfect. My Route 3 encounter is uh, Elder Senti the Sizzlepeed. Congrats on the Sizzlepeed. Sizzlepeed and Scorch, really good Pokemon. Good luck with that. That's going to be really good for the Grass Gym. That's going to be really good for your Grass Gym. Congrats on that. That's also a 5% encounter, right? I mean, Ghastly can punch. <laughs> fair, fair. Ba da da. Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Alright, now we need to figure out where are you, Flittle? Oh, there you are. Um. And. Whoop! Say boo. Boo. Did I scare you? <laughs> I was, oh, not, and, wait, is anticipation okay? Does that turn into opportunist? I don't know anything about Flittle. I think that turns into opportunist. Yes! Okay, 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 good, good, good. We don't get the useless ability. Yes! Okay, I will take that, I will take that, I will take that, I will take that every day of the week. Um, Great ball. Fantastic. Also, um, uh, sorry, I, I, I said boo, but hello, Michael. How's it going? Alrighty. Got the flittle. Thank goodness. Um, yeah, opportunist it could actually slap pretty hard here. I'll take it. I'll take it, sure. Um, what name is the anime from? I don't know uh, what uh, anime that is from. But what should we name this? Um, <laughs> get a shiny? I mean, I already have shiny. It's right over there on the, the screen. I have a shiny spy ops on this team, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, how's it going? Uh, Razzle or Dazzle? Um, I mean, so I, from Hasbin? All right. I would say probably Dazzle because of Dazzling Gleam, right? Dazzle sounds good to me because it's literally perfect. Um, hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, let's go. Do, do. Do, 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 do. He a hint one? What do you mean by that, boss? Um, they're Charlie's little goats. Oh. I don't even know who Charlie is. <laughs> I know nothing about Hasbin Hotel. I know nothing about Hasbin Hotel. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, okay, okay, okay. Plus speed, minus attack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. That's pretty, that's pretty sick. All right. I'm game. You have a shiny Crobat? Nice, nice. Ugh, I still can't believe we lost a Pokemon today. I'm so sad about that, guys. Uh, the one word is in the title? I I don't know what your what your, the if the anime uh, reference is from. I'm sorry. Could you tell me? Um so I'm a little focused at the moment. All right, so now we're gonna go to Southern Area Two, uh, Southern Area Four. That's next on our list. All righty, Southern Area Four. There's a lot of good Pokemon here in Southern Area Four. Just anything, not, not, not. I, I see it on my screen. I see it on my screen. Not fucking chancy anything but fucking chancy please all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so 62 encounters please be 62 62 62 62 62 give me 62 give me 62 okay google 
Give me a number between 1 and 62. 62, 62, 62. Here's a random number. 61. No! Oh, wait, wait. That's Flittle. That's Flittle. That's Flittle. That's Flittle. <laughs> we roll again, baby. <laughs> I want 62, not 61, you jackass. Okay, Google. Give me a number between 1 and 62. 62, 62, 62. Here's a random number. 44. 44. <sighs> yeah, you had to get my hopes hot. I wanted Flamigo so badly. I've never used a Flamigo before. So 44. Um, 6, 12, 24, 30, 36, 42... Oh, Goomy. Can we even get a Goomy? Goomy is our encounter. Can we even get one in the area? Like, without going, like, up the mountain or anything? Like, around where our, uh, uh, the, 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 the seventh gym is? Are we, is Goomy available? Let me know. Let me know if I can get Goomy, because, I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, thanks for the subscription. Thank you very much, um, uh, Michael. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, it's One Punch Man. Gotcha. But Elder Senti. I, I, I don't remember what character. Um, I don't remember what uh, uh, character you're referring to. It's been a while since I watched One Punch Man. Um, though, fantastic show. We're go I I'm excited for the third season. Um, I don't really give, uh, shoutouts on my stream. I only really do that if I ever get raided. That's normally what I do anyway. Um, so, like, whenever I get raided on, like, uh, Twitch, obviously, uh, it's only the ethical thing to do to, um, uh, shout out the people that raid you, you know? It's short for Elder Centipede. Oh, that makes more sense now. Also, come on, another, another... Oh. Um. Yes, this is Southern Four. Um. This might not be a good idea for be for us. Oh, thank you for the whirlwind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for blowing us out of here. Thank you. I did not want to have to deal with your bullshit. All right. Um. I'm scarred. I'm scarred. Okay, maybe that was just that. Oh, that was just a fluke. Yeah, Southern Area Four, Gumi. Where can I find a Gumi? And is it available? Like, is it available to me right now? Because if I can grab it, I'll go grab it. Um, uh, your name is Caleb. Nice to meet you, Caleb. Yeah, where can I find a Gumi? Because that was the encounter. And I have never seen a Gumi in this area before. So I would appreciate a pointer in the right direction. It's probably around a pond or something. Also, I should check the levels. 22? Ooh. All right, I might need to put this encounter off. There's a lot of 20s in this area. Okay, if I get an exact 20... Oh, I forgot to update the layout for the, the level caps. Whoops. Professional streamer, everyone. <laughs> I mean, not really professional. I don't get... I don't really get paid that much. All right. Uh, we got three badges. Level limit is 20, so that means the maximum level we can catch right now is level 20. So if we can't find a Gumi that is level 20 exactly or lower, then we're going to have to wait. Discord, thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, that's a rough lit over there. All right. Um... Jesus Christ, how can you find Gumis everywhere? Huh? Okay. So basically, we're just going to go all the way around to the pond area and hope for the best. Oh, Mastiff. I'm so sorry, Mastiff. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I really should have swapped into Spide Ops. But even Spide Ops, I think, would have been absolutely destroyed. And I, I value my Spide Ops over over my mass ship not gonna lie because I, I i have a bit of a bias because my mass my my spy ops is shiny so and i also kind of need it for the dark type star base kind of need it a bit 
Alright, so I'm going to check all the pawns. And eventually I'll find it, surely. Um, I'm also going to go grab the tower really quickly. So I can come back here easily. Do Oh yeah, oh sorry. Uh, gotta bring up YouTube chat again. I, got, I just got so eh, drawn into trying to find this thing. Alright. I, um, uh, I don't know, but Gumi is a beast at level 24. I mean, Gumi is a pseudo-legendary, right? So if it ever makes it to level... I don't remember what level it evolves. But if we manage to raise it all the way to a Gudra, it'll actually, like, destroy parts of the game. I know that for a fact because I had a Gudra in my damageless playthrough. Uh, a shiny Gumi, actually, uh, which is what convinced me to catch it. Um, and it, it, it rolled. It was good. Oh, oh, what, um, uh, what, what? Oh, you, oh, oh, you figured out a name? Okay, okay. I am down, but first let's find this thing. <laughs> we need to find it first. That's the problem. Because <laughs> I'm not sure where it is. Ben 10 Hero. But I wouldn't know because I've never watched Ben 10 actually. But I am down, I am down. Where's the tower? I completely skip by how you get up to the tower. All right, backwards long jumping to the rescue. The power of backwards long jumps can let you defy physics. Beautiful. Look at that. Just hop right over that. Cause I think I missed the path on the way there, but it's fine. Ye watch out for that sauce buck. Watch out for that sauce buck. We do not want to deal with that in our household. Ooh, Rimuru is also a good name too. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Let's grab the item that's at the top. But yeah, Rimuru is a good one too. Um, the new trailer for that actually came out as well. Uh, I was talking about ReZero earlier, but the third season of... Um, the third season of Reincarnated as a Slime trailer just came out either today or the other day. I saw it today. Um, ooh, fire spin. That'd be pretty good if we had a fire type Pokemon. Eh. Yeah, I like Rimuru. I like that name. I like that a lot. Good choice. Because something slimy in general, you are correct. The something slimy in general works perfectly. It's just a big slime monster. All right, Gumi. Don't let me down. Don't make me have to come back and catch you later. So that's a Slagu. We don't want... Oh, nope, that's a Hatter... Uh, uh, that's a Hatena. Wrong small thing. Gumi! What level is it? 18! Perfect! Here, I'll go away. You turn your back. And... Thwap it on the back! Got him. You're so happy. Your 3DS came in the mail. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Did you get a modded one or did you like buy a brand new one? Out of curiosity. Um, since this thing has a low catch rate and I don't want to fight it, I'll quick ball it. Now time to get a nostalgia by Usum. Nice. Let's go. Uh-oh. It broke free. All right. This thing's... Um pretty weak what 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 well, wait, wait 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 before i get ahead of myself this thing doesn't get dragon rage right no it doesn't okay it has protect dragon breath and water gun and tackle or absorb one of those um i do not want to hit it that hard because this thing is very weak um all right, Dragon Rage isn't in the game. I forgot about that. Um, man, there's not a lot of moves I want to hit this thing with because I'm, I'm scared of knocking it out. Uh, Nest Ball, actually. That works because this thing is lower than level 19. Mm. All right, Dragon Breath. Ooh, that did a lot. Do. Hey, Death, how's it going? How's it going? Thanks so much for going by. How are you doing? All right, come on. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Yeah! Let's go! Don't need to damage the Pokemon. I can just throw a ball and it's easy peasy. 
Perfect. Um, modding, is, yeah, modding is not hard. I say having modded uh, two of my 3DSs, second of which purely to get Poke Transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is going to be Rimuru. That is a really good name. All right. Perfect. Um, and we got, yep, Sap Zipper. Plus special attack. That's pretty good. I would probably turn this thing into Modest Nature anyway. Um, at some point. Like, what are the stats on Gudra again? It's been a while. It's more on the special side. It's, it's, it's attack and it's special attack are pretty even. Um, we actually probably want to, yeah, take off the minus special defense and put it, make it either adamant or, um, make it either adamant or, uh, modest because it has 80 base speed. That's not nothing. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, I'll definitely add this to my party over bounce suite. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, what level does bounce suite evolve? Bound sweet. When do you evolve, friend? Oh, level 18. It literally levels up next level and then becomes a Steeny. But then it's still garbage. Wait, when does it learn Stomp? Level 28. Mmm. Level 28. That's actually really good because that would be in time for the... the, the... That would be in time for the Water Gym. Because the Water Gym is level 30 for the cap, I think. That would be after the Steel Titan. Okay, okay, that's pretty close. Um, and Doug Trio. Doug Trio is level 28 as well, or is it level 30? 26, actually. Yeah, don't sleep on Serena. Yeah, the Queenly Majesty is also really good because it avoids uh, priority moves, right? So that's pretty good. All right. Um, all right, sorry, just reorganizing my chats and whatnot, making sure everything's good. Okay. Um, because I want to keep these guys around. I want to keep Bambi and Underminer around. So when we get to the electric type gym, um, absolute destruction. Yeah, Serena for Penny. That's what I did. That's what I did in my, um, uh, I don't think I used Serena. Did I not use Serena in that fight? I don't remember if I used Serena in that fight or not, but um, that is that is very funny because then they can not they can't use a uh, baby doll eyes and they can't use quick attack. It's very funny. Um, but who do I replace? I don't want another. Uh, I don't want. Hmm. Honestly, this thing's not going to be useful until level twenty eight. So there's no point in having it on the team. I'd rather get started on Gumi, honestly, because Sligu. Yeet. Yeah. Uh, Sligu. Oh no, Sligu's level 40. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to put this thing on the team quite yet. Having the dragon type resistance is nice and all, but uh, like having the resistances with dragon type is nice and all, but that's not really going to help me. I think I'd rather have... I think I'd rather have Dazzle. When does... Uh, Flittle. Sorry, I'm just looking up a bunch of levels because I forget when everything evolves. Flittle evolves at level 35, and Flittle is also not very good at the moment. All right, so I think... Oh, whoops, this is the wrong box. <laughs> this is the dead box. I need to label the box properly. This is the rip box. This is the rip and we'll change the box color to like a black or like a dark thing for for morning purposes, you know. Um, let's do let's do this dark, dreary pla plaid thing. How did Mastiff die? I so when I was going to get Bounce Suite uh, in uh, Eastern Province One. I um, uh, was running around trying to find it because I didn't know where to find it. And then, bam, a Tauros just spawns right in front of me. And I had my Bambi out in the front. Um, so it was obviously going to go for a fighting type move. So I was hoping that um, uh, Scrappy-Doo would be able to tank one double kick. 
because it's a pretty decently tanky Pokemon at level 18, because I, I was scared about losing Cellophane, but I probably should have gone into Cellophane because then it probably would have survived and then we could have ran. Um, but this thing has run away, so we would have been able to guarantee the run um, instead of uh, not having a good chance to run with a slower Pokemon. So I lost it because I randomly ran into a Tauros, which made me very sad. But it's fine. We'll deal with it. Um, all right. Two more encounters. Two more encounters before we move on with our lives. Um, so now we're going to go to Western Province Area 1. So let me get the next one. West Province Area 1. All right, we have fewer encounters this time. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times six is 48, 40, uh, 49 encounters. Okay, Google. Give me a number between one and 49. 41. 41. Um, 49, sorry. Uh, 6, 12, 24, 30, 36, 42, 40. Oh, that's a knackly, so that's a dupe. Okay, Google. Give me a number between 1 and 49. Here's a random number. 17. 17. 6, 12, 18. Vespaquin. Vespaquin is our encounter. Um, so I'm not sure if we can find a low-level Vespaquin, but because we rolled Vespaquin, I think that means we guarantee ourselves a female Combi, right? I don't think there's any point in going in, like, randomly deciding on a Combi, because we get the, um, because we, uh, because we rolled Vespaquin, right? So there's no point in being like, ah, we, we're, we, we're only going to go get a, uh, male uh, a male combi because that makes no sense right now the question is where do we find combis <laughs> yeah that's not too bad best queen's pretty nice but yeah so i did i did recognize michael that uh, the evolutions were not quite on my side there um so i'll put the i'll put gumi in the box until i'm a little higher leveled and then i can grind on chances later and then we'll have ourselves a sligu they spawn all over the olive orchard. Is that classified as is that classified as this area? Because I thought that uh, I thought that like all this brown here is Southern Province area too, but we need to find the encounter in this area. Um what level is Vespaquin again? No, uh, I want to... <sighs> Combi. 21 female. So, unless we find it in the wild... Ugh, if we find it in the wild, we get, like, no moves. Oh, that's bad, actually. We get no moves! What the fuck is this? What? Is the website just wrong? Okay, never mind. The website didn't load. Okay. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, how does Vesper Queen get no moves? What? <laughs> no, no, no. I was on the... Uh, it, it was still loading the Vesper Queen page while I was uh, looking at Combi. Aw, Dazzle's cute. Um... Uh, okay, so the very, very west. Okay, so we're going to have to go on a little trip and make sure that we don't run into anything. <laughs> Let me also get the YouTube chat back up online. There we go. Okay. I'm being vigilant this time. I'm being vigilant. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
What do you mean by that? If a Tauros ran into me, why didn't I just run? Because if I... Because Tauros is faster than Deerling. I had Deerling out in the front. Right? Um, because I forgot to put Mastiff in the front. I forgot to put Mastiff in the front to guarantee the runaway. Um, so, uh, if I failed the run, then Deerling would have died, and my whole strategy for the Electric-type gym would have fizzled into nothingness. So, that was my reasoning behind that. I needed to keep Deerling alive at all costs, because it makes the Electric-type gym so easy. Because the idea is that you have Diglett and you have Deerling. Deerling is normal grass type and Diglett is ground. So it's immune to Hex from Miss Magius and it's also uh, resistant. It also resists a uh, charge beam. So then you swap in the Deerling and then you just swap back and forth between Deerling and Diglett to run it out of PP and then GG easy. The normal Pokeball is fixed spawns. Ah, what do you mean by the normal Pokeball? I'm confused. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see what you're getting at. Okay, I didn't know that there were fixed spawns for them. All right, that's perfect. Um, so I don't need to go any further than here. I can just go over here. I can just go across the river. Alright, that's good. Thank you. I was confused because I didn't, I didn't see them on the small screen. Because again, I have my Discord very small. Alrighty. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Uh, Reeves, you gotta go. Thank you so much for coming by, Reeves. I appreciate it. Thanks too much. Hope you have a good one. Alright, so we're gonna go across the river. And then we shall get our combi. Wait a second. Where'd the... Where? Oh, I have to go up. I was like... Oh, wait. I can't cross the river. I have to go up from... Yeah, I can't reach that, can I? Because I don't have the I don't have the water bike yet. I mean, we can try jumping over it or throwing a pokeball at uh, something on the other side of the river. That's a oh, thing we could try. Uh, why am I scared? This, these guys are way lower lower level than me. Why am I even scared? Yeah, because this is the closest uh, static spawn, which is across this river. I would take a shiny fletchling, not gonna lie. But yeah, can I cross this river? Can you cross this river in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Oh! Look at me fucking go, brother! Let's fucking go, <coughs> brother! Ow, my throat. <laughs> uh, gonna go to bed. Goodbye. All right, goodbye, boss. Thank you so much for coming by. It's been great having you on the stream. Thank you so much for coming by. Ah, there's Mesquite. Level twenty. Yep. Level twenty. All right, so we're in the right ballpark. Uh, female combi. Yeah. All right, perfect. We got ourselves a level twenty combi. Perfect. And I got a net ball. Perfect for you. This will actually be really good against um, uh, the dark type. Uh, no, not my net ball. Ew. Mm, that's not fun. Um, This thing can take a leafage. This thing can take a leafage. It's bug flying. Oh, yeah. It can totally take it. Okay, I gotta swap out now. Um, this is scurry. Um, it can. We can do bug bite, right? Yeah, we can totally do bug bite. Swap out. 
Yeah, as you can see, we have a very bad, uh, we have a very, 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 very bad, uh, typing with our team. How long is this happening? You mean the, the stream? Uh, my streams usually go on for around three hours. Um, that's the usual length of things. All right, so Bug Bite would go up to base 80, but then get cut in half. And the Tackle would just be 40 anyway. Yeah, you know, I'll just go for a normal tackle then. We are also level 16, so that's fine. But yeah, so we have about 20 minutes left in stream. Yes, yes, I am on both uh, YouTube and Twitch at the moment. Um, all right, I think I'm going to throw a ball here. And I think I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball. It'll match the, the Vespa Queen when we evolve it. One, a two, a three, a nice. A let's -a go. I feel like you should know where Vesperia is from. Mm, miraculous ladybug? Question mark? Is is that it? Is, 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 is that what you're referring to? I think? Yeah? Okay, okay. I, I, I wasn't going insane. <laughs> Alrighty. Also, um, uh, in the YouTube chat, uh, Starmaster is looking for someone to uh, trade for evolving their Porygon. Um, if you would like to help uh, Starmaster in the YouTube chat. Um, oh, right. That's a problem. Um, you'll have to find the YouTube stream on your own if you want to help, because I cannot link it in the Twitch. I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. <laughs> not, not to shout out the... the, the um, the YouTube, uh, the, I can't, I can't link you to the YouTube stream to help someone. But yeah, so if anyone is around that can help Star Master, um, uh, evolve their Porygon, they, uh, they would love the help. Alrighty, so we're definitely going to put this in the party for the Dark type, uh, for the Dark type, uh, Team Star Base. <laughs> Hello, it is I, Dooth. Hello, Dooth. Welcome to the, 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 the YouTube streaming. Welcome. Alrighty, now we have one final encounter. One final encounter, and that is going to be a terror raid. So I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go around um, and see if we can find a one star raid. Cause one star raids are level 15. So that's a pretty safe one to go after. Can I touch grass? Well, I mean, I'm touching grass everywhere I go. When I, when I go explore, see, look. Bam. I touch grass. Bam. Look, I'm even crouching. I'm embracing the grass. <laughs> Alrighty, so. The question is, what is the best way to determine what one we should grab? Because I don't know. I want to try and, like, I, I'd, I'd like to do things randomly, but then if the randomly chosen thing um, isn't a one-star raid, then we have to go again, and then again, and then again. Um, hmm. All right, how about this? I have an idea. I have an idea. Because I'm not sure how people do raids. I think they just go check the first one, and then that's it. Um... But how about we make things a little bit more interesting? How about we check random raids and we'll check three. We'll get three one-star raids going. Well, we won't get them going, but we'll find three one-star raids. And it doesn't matter what the typing is. We will find three one-star raids. And once we get to three, then we will randomly pick one of those three with the good old Google here. I think that would make things more interesting than just wandering around and just getting the first one-star raid that you find, right? Because then there's a little bit of intrigue. Because what if you get a really cool Pokemon in one raid, and then there's like a little bit of excitement, and then all of a sudden you roll the dice, and then, ah, oh, no! I lost out on like a Varum. Just for like an example. Varum would be sick. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's check this Psychic one. Uh, ugh. oh, not another bug. Oh, not another bug. Oh, not another bug. Please, no. Please, no. I do not want another bug. 
please? No. I would honestly prefer if I got this ground type one over here. Not gonna lie. Yeet. Oh, wait, where's the... Okay, it's over there. All right, but yeah, so that's our first one. That's our first uh, possible encounter. Please let it not be the Surskit. Please. Please let it be whatever this is. <laughs> okay, that's a dupe. That's funny. That's really funny. That's a dupe. A ground type combi. Imagine that. <laughs> Alright, so this one. Ooh. Okay, I was double checking to see if it was green. Um, Alright, fighting type. We don't have a fighting type yet. We will get a fighting type with Crabominable at one point, but we might as well check it. A young goose? Ooh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is real bad. Um, Let's check this water type one. Yeah, I didn't know we were doing a mono bug lock either. You could have told me I would have probably not done this Nuzlocke <laughs> if I were only doing bugs. I can't believe I'm suddenly turning into a bug type trainer. It's so funny. Alrighty. Oh! Oh, that's interesting! Oh! Oh, I want that. I want that so badly. Okay, so those are our three possible encounters. So... So those are our three possible encounters. We have a water type Applin, we have a psychic type Surskit, and we have a fighting type Young Goose. So we'll do it in the order that we found them. So one is Surskit, two is Young Goose, well, and three is Applin. So we have a one in three chance of having a banger Pokemon. A one in three chance of having an, an absolute banger. Okay. Pray for me, guys. I, I, I'll actually, uh, I'll actually uh, evoke you to please give me your blessings. I really need this. I need this so badly. I don't want Surskit or the Young Goose. I don't want it. No, I have Google. I'm going to do it on Google so that way it's all legit, you know? Because I don't want people manipulating anything, you know? Alrighty. Okay, Google. Give me a number between one and three. Here's a random number. One. No! No! Uh... All right, how about this? I have curiosity, Death. What would you have gotten if you rolled a D3? So one is Applin, right? Oh, my heart. Oh, no. Uh, and the other thing is we have to beat it, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> Ungod, I'm not even trying to manipulate. Just rolled it because he asked and got a three. Should have trusted me. <sighs> All right. Um, so this is going to be a psychic type. So that's very easy. We're just going to go with cellophane in here. Because there's no way that a bug water type could kill cellophane. So, I'm just going to save also. I haven't saved in a while. Always save your game. I know, I should have trusted you. But at the same time, I always need things to be recorded. I need things so that way no one can, like, doubt me. You know? Um, because I don't want there to ever be any, like, I don't want people to be like, Well, you didn't actually roll the th do the thing on stream. <laughs> you know? Because pe gatekeepers in Nuzlocke communities are really like that sometimes, you know? Um, Alright, but this should still be easy. So, 
I could record it for you, though. Fair, fair. But it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. We can't do it anymore. We can't do it anymore. Say la vie. Uh, yeah, I do know One Piece, uh, Michael. I'm, uh, I've never watched it, though. I, I do know it, though. Uh, it will? Uh, it hurts. It hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Imagine if we had a water-type Applin. That would have been so fucking good. That would have been beyond awesome. Man. Alright, at least this thing's easy. Goodbye. Out of my face. Let me catch you, you motherfucker. <laughs> Ugh. The thing is, I wouldn't be too mad if Surskit didn't evolve into... A bug flying. Because we already have Vespaquin coming up. And we already have Cellophane. I would have really loved. Really, really, really loved. To have had a bug water type. Bug water is such a good typing. And we don't get to keep bug water. Because this thing evolves into bug flying. Why? <laughs> uh, alrighty. Rip the band-aid off. Let's get the bad encounters out of the way, so when we get the good encounters, they slap hard, you know? Oh, and also, I forgot to replace a, a for a new team member. Who did we have on the team again? Flittle? No, we didn't put Flittle on the team, right? I forget now. What, who did we put on the team again? Oh, and also, what do we want to name this thing? Another bug, <laughs> by the way. Another bug. Absolute insanity. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, is there any kind of bug, like a moth creature? Uh, let's name it, uh, no. We need to, remember, we have a theme. We have a theme. We need to name it, um, uh, we need to name it an anime character, a cartoon character, or a 3D animated character from, like, a movie or a TV show. Because it is a moth whenever you evolve it. Valentino? Uh, who's Valentino? Again, has been? Alright, alright. I'll just follow your lead instead of um, thinking of any other name. Because I can't think of any at the moment. Valentino. Ugh. Gross. Disgusting, even. Absolutely disgusting. Um, send your boxes. Out of here. Alrighty. Thanks for the suggestion, Michael. But I think I'll go with the the, 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 the one that I got here. Um, yeah, I did put Flittle on the team. Should I not? I, I don't have any better options. Ugh, I hate everything. You know what? Ash, you're on the team. Wanna know why? You're gonna be my death fodder for now because I don't have any use for my other Pokemon on my team. Let's just have some death fodder. Fuck it. <laughs> Man, I'm so upset that I lost my I, I lost my first Pokemon. I'm so sad. But now all uh, everything's on the table now. Um. Okay. So what time is it right now? It is 7:54. So there's only six minutes left in stream for me. We can get one final battle out of the way. We can do one last battle. Yeah, we can do that. Um, which is going to be the Titan. And then next time, I'll prepare my team for uh, the final, for the, our first Team Star base. Alrighty. And Ash is going to be something that we swap into when we have no better options. I like that idea. Um... I don't have any HP berries or anything, and I don't have... Ooh, Quick Claw. Yep, I'll take the Quick Claw. Okay, this will be challenging, because again, we have mostly bugs and grass types on the team. We don't have many... We have one rock type. We don't have any electric types. We don't have any fairy types. Um, 
First team star is Aerie, just reminding you. Yes, certainly. Certainly. I'm just going to grind all my Pokemon to level 55 real quick. Be right back. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to open up with Nackley. Um, and we're just going to have two Nacklies going after the bird. You know, we're going to rock Terra. We're going to smack down um, and just destroy her. Uh, destroy the Bombardier. That's what we're going to do. Oh, look, it's a little Choco Puffs. All right, and also, is there anything else I should worry about? Should I use SmackDown? I think I'll have Rock Throw just in does 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 SmackDown get rid of the flying typing for a turn? I forget. Ow! The Choco Puff hit me. Dude... I think Star Master left. I tried, but no response. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You tried, though. I appreciate it. Do Alrighty. Let's go! This will be a bloodbath. And then Ash will be our death fodder, because we have a Spide Ops on the team already. So, we'll just kill off the bug if we run into trouble. Alright, let's go. Oh, so I need to go to the bathroom really badly, so I need this to be over quick. Alright, let's smack down, baby! Alright, come on, Nackley. You got this. You got some decent HP and a little bit of defense. Uh, you can't get hurt by Pluck that badly. If you pop the Quick Claw, you're a god. Pluck, okay. We resist that really well. We should be able to do a KO this thing. Nice. Alright, good. Yeah, it fell straight down. Does that get rid of its uh, flying typing? I think it does. For the turn. Quick claw pop! Let's go! Come on, Reagan! Because I forget about the interaction for SmackDown. Oh, nope, it's still super effective. Nice, let's go. 2 8 KO, easy. Alright, perfect. I'm guessing SmackDown would work in that way for just, like, the same turn, right? So if you did SmackDown and then Earthquake? I'm not sure. Because it doesn't, it doesn't work like, um... It doesn't work like, uh... Gravity and Roost do, right? Where it gets rid of the... Well, I mean, it doesn't get rid of the flying typing. It just grounds it. Okay, so it doesn't get rid of the flying typing. I'm thinking of Roost. I'm an idiot. Ignore me. Alright, but now we have a second Nackley. Okay, yeah. So it just allows you to use ground type moves. It doesn't mean that... Oh, I can Terrasalize again. Nice. Um, it doesn't mean that it loses its flying typing. That's Roost. I was just being silly. All right, go for the other Nackley. Go for the other one. Not me. Go for the other one. <laughs> Don't quote me and then Donna quotes you. Okay, nice. One for the other Nackley. GG. That should do it. All right, Reagan. Throw some salt. Oh, Nackley went for the rock polish. Ooh, we getting speedy up in here? Not me. <laughs> Pluck on me. Okay, that's fine. We're probably going to have to swap out next turn if this thing doesn't die. All right, Nackley used rock polish again like a fool. Um, Smackdown. Because if this thing rock throws me, I think I'm dead. I, th I think Reagan is dead if it goes for the rock throw. So I think I just guaranteed win if I swap into Ash and sacrifice it. Because Underminer won't be able to take a Pluck. Um, and uh, I don't think it would go for Pluck. It has Rock Throw. Why is it not using Rock Throw? That's so weird. So just go for the other Nackley and Nackley just kill it, please. I want to save Reagan. Reagan is going to be my star Pokemon near the end of the playthrough. Or you just get a quick claw pop. I'm not relying on that. 
All right, there we go, we win. Okay, phew. Very nice, very, very nice. GG, GG. See, I would have had zero deaths right now had that Tauros not evaporated into existence for me. I'm so happy right now. You can't imagine how happy I am at the moment. I'm still so peeved about that. I'm so peeved. Ah, It's fine, though. It's fine. We'll be okay. It just won't be a completely deathless Nuzlocke. You know, it'll be fine. Um, actually, evaporation is disappearing. Did I say evaporate? Did I say evaporate? Now I don't know if I'm being gaslit. <laughs> I think I did. Whatever. It 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 it's it just spawned sp spontaneously into existence, and I ran into it, and then I lost a Pokemon because of it. It was level twenty five, <laughs> or was it level twenty three? It was one of those numbers. I'm tired. I have a lot of schoolwork to do. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream there. There's no point in me showing you all the dialogue and whatnot because uh, we're only worried about the, the Nuzlocke part of this stream. So thank you everyone so, so much for watching. But before you go anywhere, I would love it if you would join me for a quick raid on somebody. Let me check to see who's online at the moment and see who we can make a raid target. Um, I want to be Arvin's therapist. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me take a look-see. Alright, so if you want to join me both on the YouTube side and on the, uh, let me actually open up Twitch on my end and get the link for her channel so I can put it into, into the YouTube channel. Alrighty, so there's this link and I'll put it down a couple of times. Bam. All right, so uh, we are going to go raid um, B Luxy. Um, and if you want to, but don't go right away. Let's, we'll, we'll go all together. Um, and we will have the raid message, Dork Raid. Um, so if you're watching on YouTube and you want to join the, the, the raid to go over to Twitch, um, just copy and paste the words Dork Raid up above. If you are subscribed to my Twitch channel, um, then copy and paste the words Dork Raid with all the emotes. And if you are not subscribed, then you can just copy the words as well. I'm going to go raid her. Um, she's doing Dynamax Adventures at the moment. Um, so let's go over and say hi. And I would really appreciate if you guys would come along with me, even if you are normally a YouTube watcher, you can just say hi and bye. It doesn't really matter. I just appreciate that you guys come along anyway. All right, so I will probably be back on Saturday. And I think we'll do some Dynamax Adventures on Saturday um, and take a break from the Nuzlocke. And we'll return to the Nuzlocke either Sunday or next Thursday. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know on my Discord. Um, so thank you everyone so, so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. And also, uh, uh, YouTube, follow the, the Twitch that I put in the chat on the side. Alrighty? Bye-bye!